The Prairie Ridge Wolves are the newest team in college football. Making the leap from high school, the Wolves are a 12 overall team. With sleek uniforms and the most unique stadium in the country, their goal is to win a college football national championship. And if we don't complete that, along with the rest of the goals on screen, one of you guys will be winning a brand new jersey. Let's begin. Let's take over the Prairie Ridge Wolves, a 12 overall. They're supposed to be a zero, but it doesn't actually let you make it a zero. You can't change the overalls of the kickers and punters. And then there's one more like stat that it wouldn't let you change. They run a pro style offense. We're going to take over as our head coach. Coach. Gonna be a recruiter. So here's head coach Neil Schnorr. Army, we run the option. We have a 3-3-5 defense. Alma mater, we're just gonna do Wisconsin. Pipeline North Texas. It wouldn't let me do Illinois, so I'm just gonna do North Texas. What's crazy is this is six foot 160, bro. This dude looks 5'5", 300. Like, what the fuck? Here we go. Four-year goal, our contract. We just need to win four games. I think that's doable. Maybe not this year, but down the line for sure. I guess we're an eight overall team, according to the game now. This is awesome. So let's take a look at the roster first. I mean, you're gonna see every single person on this roster, besides our kickers and our punters, 12 overall. For some reason, some of these stats are boosted and it wouldn't let me change deep route running on anybody that's why these guys are eights that's it that's the only stat on this entire thing besides our kickers and punters that aren't zero and to make this even tougher is i'm not gonna go through and just cut these guys i can't just do that this is unreal this is gonna be such a tough rebuild the first couple years we're not gonna win a single game we're just not but with our first five coach points it's going straight to recruiting we gotta be able to recruit and we're not gonna be recruited at a high level we're gonna be recruiting one stars for a while but even so recruiting one stars at this level anybody that comes in as a 50 overall is gonna be incredible for us. Okay, so we filled out our recruiting board. We are a one-star school, but we do have a decent amount of three-star guys we're going to go after. Starting off with middle linebacker Roshan Horn, right outside linebacker Ladamian Gore, left guard Max Jackson, center Sam Tobin, kicker Lionel Venable, tight end Matthew Galladay, left outside linebacker Sam Haslam, strong safety Josh Tillman, strong safety Leon Jackson, right outside linebacker Connor Bradford, fullback Javier Boatwright, center LeAngelo Wooden, left guard Logan Cotton, center Chris Penn, athlete Maurice Dodd, strong safety Leon Hurley, left outside linebacker Jermaine Herner, left end Charles Chabara, and left end Deion a lot of three stars. We do have obviously two and one stars on here, but we're going to shoot high. Next up, let's take a look at the schedule. We actually don't play a game until FCS West. If we have a chance to win, that's going to be it. Then we go to number 23 Miami, Central Michigan, James Madison. We host Western Michigan. We go to Kent State, to Vanderbilt. We host North Illinois. That's a rivalry game. That's huge. We have our second bye. Then we host Miami of Ohio. We go to Buffalo, host Bowling Green, and go to Ohio. This is actually a heavy MAC schedule. We are an independent, as you can see. So I wonder why we are scheduled against a lot of these schools. Even though we're only in week two, we have the ability to schedule visits we gotta get some of these recruits in the building at least for the first couple seasons or at least until we're competitive i'm probably gonna be sitting through a lot of these games um, we do have 10 coach points we're gonna increase on recruiting we're gonna hop into this game against miami not because i think we're gonna win but because i kind of want to just see the uniforms here we go these are the i think these are the aways yes they are oh my god no Wait, moving these guys is like oh he's fast who are you how are you fast oh you're not fast you're fast pre-snap oh dude this is gonna take 10 years. We have negative 50 yards in the first half. They have 56 points. It's not even fucking halftime. Oh, let's get out of there. Take off. Give me some yards. Get a speed out here. Dude, how? Oh, I was about to say, we almost got a first down. Let's go. Oh, let's get the f out of this game. What the oh. fuck, dude? They just put up 137 points. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like that. 300 rushing yards. I gotta see these stats. We had two passing yards. Negative 76 yards of total offense. Oh my god. 19 touchdowns. Oh my god. 15 punts for almost 700 punt yards. These stats are atrocious. We're probably not having to do a game for the next like three seasons. FCS West beat us 125 to nothing. Buckle up, boys. This is going to take a while. We had our first commit of the video. Three-star left guard Max Jackson. Middle linebacker and three-star Roshan Horn. Great commits. This is huge for the future of our program. Brand exposure falls to a D-. minus. Yeah, we are fucking terrible. Sam Haslam commits to Akron. We're going to take him off our board. We are going to add another fullback. Three-star Joshua Dobbins. Having a good fullback is huge in the offense we run. We're on the triple option, so we absolutely have to have good fullbacks. Get another commit in three-star center Sam Tobin. We just need talent. Three-star strong safety Leon Jackson commits to Rucker, so he's going to come off our board. We are going to add Duke Marcus, the three-star punter. We punt a lot. We might as well get good special teams, guys. Unfortunately, one of our goals is to have winning record versus our rivals. We are definitely going to start this goal off 0-1. We do. This is going to be such a tough challenge. After we got throttled 125 nothing to 0, Matthew Galladay commits to Iowa. We're going to take him off the board. We're going to add right outside linebacker Dion Daphne, as well as Juco right guard Melvin Slayton. I think these guys can come and help us right away. Shit, we need help everywhere. We get three-star right outside linebacker Connor Bradford. Talent is talent at this point. We get three-star punter Duke Marcus. Get more help on the offensive line. We get three-star center LeAngelo Wooden. Three-star fullback Josh 
Joshua Dobbins. Our offense is up to a nine. Let's go. We went 0 and 12. We didn't score a point all season. Only one team didn't score 100 points for us. That's it was Western Michigan. Golly, bro. Let's take a look at our season stats. We had negative 804 total yards of total offense. Defensively, we gave up almost 9,000 yards. Oh my God. And Daphne commits to Indiana. We're going to take him off the board. Going to add another center and three star Kari Anson to the board. I know it's late, but still hasn't whittled down his top five. I think we have a chance. Got another three star fullback in Javier Boatwright. We finally get some coach points. That's huge. We just got a hammer recruiting. We have a Heisman finalist. <laughs> See my job offers. Who wants to offer me a fucking job? They want to offer me the offensive coordinator. Why am I even in the, the running for the offensive coordinator for Washington, Kentucky, bro? What? At early National Signing Day, we have a significant amount of guys in Josh Dobbs, Duke Marcus, Rashawn Horn, LaDamian Gore, Max Jackson, Sam Tobin, Lionel Venable, Connor Bradford, Javier Boatwright, Langelo Wooden. We're building up the positions. Gotta get some of the skill positions soon, especially on offense. Why do they want us to be their new head coach? We're not only in the running, we're their number one option. That is unreal. Somehow our pro potential goes up to a D plus. Conference Prestige goes down to a B, and our coach's ability and prestige goes down to an We are up to a 15 overall. Let's go. How do we go from an 8 to a 15, bro? That's ridiculous. So all of these 12 overalls are going to leave. Yeah, bro, you guys, I don't even, I'm just going to, thank God. Good riddance. It's going to take a couple years to cycle these guys out, but golly, this is going to be tough. Taking a look at the transfer portal, we are going to go after a bunch of guys. Two-star running back, Eric McKinney Ware out of Michigan State. We're going to go after Jay Harris from number three, Oregon. If we get him, that would be unreal. We're also going after a two-star quarterback Alex Winkler from Southern Miss, one-star wide receiver Eric Reddick out of Texas State, two-star left outside high linebacker Jaden Flaker, and two-star left end Greg McTrailer out of South Alabama. We're going to take Taj Willies off our board. Not going to really get him. Going to have another fullback. I think we can try to convert one of these guys to either tight end or receiver. For some reason, Alex Winkler locked us out for playing time, but we don't have another quarterback on roster, or at least not one that's as good as him. Finishing up off-season recruiting, let's see if we got anybody. We get three-star strong safety Ezekiel Okoye, three-star tight end Leon Tull, three-star running back George Hope. That's big. Another fullback in Javante Tubbs. So we're going to take Jay Harris off the board. Josh Dobbins, Duke Marcus, Makatui Lovato. I don't know how to pronounce that. Strong safety Ezekiel Okoye. Quarterback Alex Winkler. He's going to be our starter this year. Middle linebacker Rashawn Horn. Another fullback in Javante Tubbs. Right outside linebacker LaDamian Gore. Tight end Leon Tull. Left guard Max Jackson. Running back George Hope. Center Sam Tobin. Kicker Lionel Venable. Center Kari Ansa. Right outside linebacker Connor Bradford. Fullback Javier Boatwright. Leangelo Wooden. So with that, we take a look at our national rank. We actually signed the 73rd class. 16 three stars and a two star hey we'll take it we have a 76 overall kicker kevin tucker we have a lot more 60s 50s 40s just gotta continue to get more of these guys and this doesn't even include the guys we brought in this is just the guys we have on roster we're 27 overall right now we actually move up to a one and a half star program i really don't understand how we did that we didn't score a fucking point last year take a look at the roster we actually have some decent talent i'm probably gonna redshirt a lot of guys but we do have senior kicker kevin tucker junior george hope the running back and Angelo wooden and Sam Tobin. We like that. Senior quarterback in Alex Winkler. A sophomore strong safety in Ezekiel Okoye. And a freshman fullback in Javier Boatwright. Listen, not a lot of it, but there's talent on this roster. I mean, taking a look at quarterback outside of Alex Winkler, we ain't got nothing. We gotta go get that again. Running back, same thing. We do have Cam Bankhead, but George Hope hopefully will be back for one more year. But damn, we gotta get some more stuff there. Fullback, same thing. We have Javier Boatwright. He should be here for the next three years, so we should be okay there. Then we got a bunch of guys between Sam Tobin and Leangelo Wooden. We're gonna move one of these guys to either guard or tackle or something. But we're gonna have these guys for a couple years. It's gonna be huge. Strong safety, we do have Ezekiel Okoye. He's going to be a guy. He's going to be here for a couple years, so we don't have to worry about that. Just got to continue to add positions. We do have Kevin Tucker, but we're going to have to probably get another kicker here or hopefully one of these guys develop. We're in the stage where we have to just continue to accumulate talent. I did go through and redshirt a couple guys. Let's take a look at our recruiting board. Going after another set of three-star prospects, not going after any fours, five stars. We're not going to really get them. Defensive tackle, Brett Washington. Right outside linebacker, Stephen Tobin. Defensive tackle, Dimitri Davey. Left tackle, Ezekiel Pryor. Left outside linebacker, Ty Duggins. Left tackle, Aiden Schuster. Tight end, Eric Bullocks. Another punter in Terrence Cadet. We really want to get a good punter. Left end, Isaac Clark. Left guard, Amir Veal. Quarterback, Tavon Willoughby. This guy could be the quarterback of the future if we can get him. Cornerback, Sean Stitzer. Defensive tackle, Paul Talbot. Left guard, Davon Ship. Athlete, Rob Schultz. Left outside linebacker, Braden Avant. Another athlete, Cortez Diaby. Free safety in Dexter Rivero. A running back in Phil Stein. This is a guy that would theoretically replace George Hope long term. Phil Turner, left end. Cornerback, Tevin Keener. Right tackle, Tommy Burrow. Defensive tackle, Daryl Evanson. Free safety, Jamie Butts. Middle linebacker, JP Brewer. Right end, Geo Dunham. Cornerback, Coco Hagan. Another 
corner in Aiden Fru Morgan, middle linebacker Quan Wick, right tackle Malik Nani, cornerback George Clemens, cornerback Cedric Silas, middle linebacker Larry Welsh, finally middle linebacker Antoine Grip. So almost an entire board with three stars. Next up, let's take a look at the schedule for this season. Bowling Green, Washington State, go to Auburn, UConn, and Purdue. We have an FCS school. We host Kennesaw State. We go to Georgia State, host Virginia. We finally have a bye. Then we go to number 25, Oregon State, host Kent State. We have our second bye, go to UTSA, and then we have our final bye. I mean, we're 27 overall. I'd be shocked if we beat literally anybody. FCS Northwest, that's the team that we got to hope we can take down. We're going to take Ty Duggins off our board, locked out already. Even though we're already only in week two, we can start doing hard sells and visits. We can get Ezekiel Pryor. We can get the left tackle for our team for the next three years. That'd be awesome. We get our first commit of year two, left tackle Ezekiel Pryor. That's huge. Got another left tackle in Aiden Schuster. We like that. Probably slide him to right tackle. Guard Amir Veal locked us out. We're going to take him off the board. We're going to add wide receiver Shannon Phillip. If we get a wide receiver, that'd be huge. Independent defense for the week. 11 tackles and a tackle for loss. We like that. We won against Kennesaw State. Oh my God. Let's take care of the coach points too. Added three-star athlete Joey Brodsky to the board. We can get him. That'd be huge. Rashawn Horn, independent defense for the week. Nine tackles. He's playing great. We got smoked by Georgia State, but he had 10 tackles, a forced fumble, two fumble recoveries. We just want these guys to develop. We get three-star defensive tackle Dimitri Davey. That's huge. Three-star tight end Eric Bullocks. Three-star punter Terrence Cadet. Just continuing to add to our team. Rashawn Horn is a stud. Nine tackles at TFL, the independent defense player of the week. After that annihilation, Brett Washington commits to Kentucky. We're going to take him off the board. We did add three-star center Tommy Wims to the board. I know it's late, but I think we can get in on him. That'd be huge. We just need more offensive line talent. And Steven Tobin actually commits to Liberty, so we're going to take him off our board. That stings. Connor Bradford, another freshman. Five tackles and a deflection. Independent defensive player of the week. The national defensive player of the week. Whoa. Five tackles, three sacks, a forced fumble, and two fumble recoveries. My goodness, we beat Oregon State. We have two wins this year. Paul Talbot commits to Eastern. We're going to take him off our board. We are going to add Dom Meadows, the three-star middle linebacker, to our board. I know it's late, but I think we can get in on him. As well as three-star right guard Dom Wagner. After getting the rottled by Kent State, Isaac Clark commits to Northwestern. We're going to take him off our board. We get three-star wide receiver Shannon Phillip. That's huge. I think this is our first receiver the entire video. We need to get better skill position players. Tyrese Walker, an interception and five tackles. The junior cornerback, five tackles, didn't score, but damn. We get two wins this season. That's a huge improvement. I don't know if we'll be able to do that again next season. Devon Schiff locked us out. We're going to take him off the board. Get three-star center Tommy Wims. Keep adding to the offensive line. We love that. Three-star left outside linebacker Braden Avant commits to Coast Carolina. We're going to take him off the board. We're going to add another punter in Ramon Fieker to our board. This is a guy I think can help us. We're at risk of losing some of our special team guys. The portal, so I really just got to keep reloading with these guys. Get three-star center Joy Brodsky. We get three-star quarterback Tavon Willoughby. Three-star cornerback Sean Stitzer. Those are huge gets for this team. Going to take off a lot of these guys, though. I'm actually a 31 overall now. We like that. Just keep getting better. Let's take a look at the transfer portal here. Going after a nice litany of guys. Cameron KZ, the running back from Central Michigan. Jay Harris, the running back from Wyoming. Mike Simons, the tight end from Washington State. Devin Lennon, the strong safety from UNLV. Jalen Jenkins, the running back from Arkansas State. Philip Rush, the quarterback from Wyoming. Running back Garrett Schulters from Memphis. And wide receiver Quan Shepard from number 17 UAB. This would be a huge get if we get these guys. I don't understand the playing time thing because we actually just got locked out of the top three guys we were going after. And I didn't add anybody else to the board. After another season of offseason recruiting, let's see what happens. Two-star halfback Cameron Kazee. Take a look at National Signing Day. Three-star running back Jay Harris. Three-star quarterback Philip Rush. Three-star running back Jalen Jenkins. Two-star running back Cameron Kazee. One-star strong safety Devin Lennon. Three-star Dimitri Davy, the defensive tackle. Three-star left tackle Ezekiel Pryor. Three-star left tackle Aiden Schuster. Three-star tight end Eric Bullocks. Three-star punter Terrence Cadet. Three-star wide receiver Shannon Phillip. Three-star center Tommy Wims. Three-star athlete Joey Brodsky. Three-star quarterback Devon Willoughby. This is the future quarterback. We have to make sure he stays. Three-star cornerback Sean Sister. Three-star athlete Rob Schultz. And three-star quarterback Russ Aviles. I literally just offered him a scholarship. I didn't put any points toward him when he signed. That's huge. Take a look at the top classes. We're probably not going to be anywhere near the top 15, 20, 30, 50. Let's see where we are. Oh, we're in the bottom, bottom. 91st, 15 three stars, a two star and a one star. I don't really see this class being much worse than the class, class we signed last year. And we have 30 coach points. So we're going to make this count. We want to get starting in. We have two athletes, Joey Brodsky. We're going to make him a left end. He could be a great rusher for us. And then Rob Schultz, he could be QB1 in the future. Take a look at training results here. This could be huge. We have two 80s in Connor Bradford and Ezekiel Okoye. This is awesome. Ezekiel Okoye was a guy we had on our board last year. We were taking a look at Connor Bradford, another, a guy that developed a lot last season. Right now we're 38 overall. This doesn't even include the guys we brought in. This is, hopefully we win a game or two again this year. I don't know how we went two games last year. Taking a look at the roster, we are 38 overall. I think last year we were 24. Making strides. 
sides. We have two 80s for the first time. Sophomore Connor Bradford. He's going to be a guy that for the next couple of years, he's going to be a huge key for us. And then we also have Ezekiel Okoye. He was a guy who was here last year, just continued to develop. If we have a single chance of winning a game, it's going to be because our defense is leading the charge. The recruiting is huge. We got to have a good recruiting class. Going after another full class of three stars. Start with left outside linebacker Ahmad Witherspoon, athlete Terrence Slack, left outside linebacker Enrique Shakir, left tackle Thomas Green, free safety Cam Hatfield, running back Colt Daniels, left tackle Edward Banks, athlete Dylan Folsom, corner back Alex North, middle linebacker Randy Tangelo, right end Johnny Hawkins, middle linebacker Marquise Hamrick, right tackle Antonio Hose, strong safety JD Levis this is a guy that theoretically could come in and replace Ezekiel Okoye, running back Jamichael Mays, middle linebacker Nathan Biggs, free safety Carlos Fumagalli, defensive tackle Steve Hemphill, strong safety Taylor Block, left end Alex McNally, right tackle Earl Foster, left end Marco Workman, cornerback Major Wheat, that's a sick name, defensive tackle Lynn Redmond, right guard Alfonso Canada, cornerback Sammy Freeland, defensive tackle Carlos Brewer, left guard Alfonso Amador, guard Tyler Ibikite, cornerback Evan Clowney. Take a look at the schedule. Good Oregon State start the season. We host Rice to Indiana. We go to number two Ohio State, number 21 Liberty. We have an FCS school. It's huge. Wyoming, Utah State. We go to UConn, SMU. We have two buys in our final four weeks. End with Western Kentucky, number five Texas. This schedule is easily the toughest schedule we've had in three years. My goodness. While I'm doing recruiting, I wanted to talk about the fact that I was going to do, I was going to fire both my coordinators, but I got fired. So I had to remake my coach. So this offseason, I'm probably going to fire both my coordinators, or at least one of them, just because, I mean, it was brutal. I mean, we won two games, but I just, I think we can get better coordinators. Dylan Folsom already locks us out. We're going to take him off our board. We're going to add left end Rashawn Baker. We just need to continue to get more players in the building that are good. And he's a Juco player. He should be able to help us right now. I'm just going to hop into this game against Ohio State. I don't anticipate winning this game, but I just kind of want to see how much better we are if we're any better. Oh, this is going to be so tough. Dude, oh my God. Inside beer triple option. Dude. We're not getting anything. Can we kick a field goal? Like, let's see this. Drilled it? We take a 3 nothing lead. We got to get a stop here, boys. I'm on a Koye. <sighs> we got a third down stop. How are we even in this game? I think Phillip is the only receiver I can actually throw to. I couldn't even get the ball off, bro. Oh, my God. As we can see, we are still not, still not ready for prime time. I can't believe we got a field goal. Our team is significantly better, but we still have a long way to go. We get another wide receiver in Terrence Slack. We just need to continue to get more skill position, guys. Shane Rudder, four tackles, two TFLs. We just beat FCS East. Take a look at this game. We have 10 more coach points. 13 to 10, four tackles, a forced fumble, and two fumble recoveries. Let's go. Oh, we're on a two-game win streak. Let's take a look at this. We beat Liberty in overtime. Didn't throw the ball once. We just ran all over him. Let's go. We have 10 more coach points. Continuing to just to hammer the recruiting. Restart middle linebacker Randy Tangelo. Lock this out. We're going to take him off our board. As you can see, we need high-level special teams, guys. We're at risk of losing our punter, so we're going to try to go after Doug Nortman. We get left end Rashawn Baker. That's huge. We don't have a left end on roster, and he's a Juco junior with a gem. After the loss, Ahmad Weatherspoon actually commits to Louisiana, so we're going to take him off the board. We are going to add left tackle Dylan Casey. We just need to get better offensive linemen. We get three-star left tackle Thomas Green. That's huge. We, again, we just need more offensive line talent. Enrique Shakir actually commits to Wyoming after they beat us. We are going to add Lonnie Suttle, a tight end to the board. You know, it's late. We can get in on it. We're going to take a couple guys off our board in Marquise Hamrick. He commits to App State. Petty Droga commits to Cincinnati, and Antonio Antonio Hose commits to UAB. Damn, hate losing that name. Gonna go after three-star kicker Martin Saucedo. We are actually losing a kicker this offseason, so we really need to get a new one. Get three-star tackle Dylan Casey. Cam Hatfield commits to Ohio. We're gonna take him off our board. We're gonna go after another fullback in JoJo Davey. Having a good fullback in the triple option is huge. And then another kicker in Ramona Viles. If we get a three-star punter in Doug Norman, huge. We are gonna go after another quarterback in three-star Shane Costanzo. Having a good quarterback is huge. We do get three-star halfback Colt Daniels. Three-star cornerback Alex North. Continuing to get more talent in the skill positions. That's huge. We end our season two and 10. I think this is the best season we've had so far. Going to get rid of our coordinators, at least one of them. And we've been fired for a second time. So this is our third time going for this. <sighs> this is not easy. We're going to fire Greg Harrell, our offensive coordinator. We got to get something else. Back to square one with the coaching. Just going to hammer the recruiting. I have 90 coach points. So that's huge. This will make things a little easier here. We're farther along in recruiting than we've ever been in terms of unlocking the recruiter skill tree. We just need to do these last two and then finish out linebackers. Then I'm done with recruiter. Taking a look at early national signing day, did manage to get athlete Terrence Slack, left end Rashawn Baker, wide receiver Tobias Connor, Hunter Doug Norman, left tackle Thomas Green, left tackle Dylan Casey, running back Colt Daniels, cornerback Alex North. We got some other guys we're going after, but those are the big ones. Staff, this is huge. We need to get a new offensive coordinator. If we can get Frank Thornton out of Appalachian State, I think he'd be good. Take a look at his talent tree. 
42. He has tactician and recruiter stuff. This is huge. I'm gonna, we're gonna hire him. We move up to a 43 overall. So every year we're getting just a little better. We did get Frank Thornton. Love to see that. If we underperform again this season, Donnie White, the defensive coordinator, he's the one that's hitting the road. Oh, we don't have anybody leaving besides graduation. I think we're actually all out of 12 overall players. That's huge. We're not really losing anybody to graduation. That's worth a damn anyways. Now we can officially start to rebuild this team. Let's take a look at the transfer portal. We're gonna go after a lot of guys, especially at running back and safety. We're going after Trey Cornish, the running back from Tulane. Deshaun Bishop, the running back from Miami, Ohio. Roy Calloway, the free safety from Akron. Javin Simpkins, the running back from number 22, Coastal Carolina. That would be a huge game. Right tackle, Harris Patterson from Minnesota. Right tackle, Trace Calloway from Ohio State, a team that beat us earlier this season. Left outside linebacker, King Joseph Edwards. Left outside linebacker, Archer Ornstein from Rutgers. Defensive tackle, John Sheets from Notre Dame. Quarterback, Wyatt Quinn from Miami, Ohio. Middle linebacker, Ty Faave from number 13, Washington State, a team that beat us. Right guard, Ben Morosky from Boston College. Left guard, Willie Goodacre from Syracuse. Right guard from Minnesota. Finally, right guard, Braden Houston from UCLA. We're going after a litany of prospects from the transfer portal. We are up to a 46 overall just with progression. Braden Houston commits to Arizona State. We're going to take him off our board. We're going to add J.K.V. on Khalif, the running back out of Central Michigan, to our board instead. Then we're going to add Isaac Brown, the running back from Louisville, to our board. I think he'd be a huge piece if we can get him. We get three-star right tackle, Trace Calloway. We get three-star middle linebacker, Tay Faave. We get three-star left guard, Willie Goodacre. Those are three huge pieces from the transfer portal. Finally, the transfer portal, we're going to go heavy on a lot of these guys down here. We are going to add Will Larkins from BYU to our board. We get three-star left outside linebacker, King Joseph Edwards. Three-star free safety, Shamir Dodson. Three-star running back, Deshaun Bishop. Three-star right guard, Ben Moraski. Three-star halfback, Javen Simpkins. Three-star center, Will Larkins. We did pretty well in the transfer portal. 30 more coach points. This will help recruiting for this season. Still have a couple more things we need from it. Taking a look at National Signing Day. We got King Joseph Edwards, Trace Calloway, Ty Faave, Willie Goodacre, Shamir Dodson, Will Larkins, Sean Bishop, Ben Morask, Devin Simpkins, Paris Patterson, Lonnie Tuttle, Terrence Slack, Sean Baker, Tobias Connor, Doug Nortman, Thomas Green, Dylan Casey, Paul Daniels, Alex North, Martin Salcido, Shane Costanzo. We actually signed a pretty big class. I think this is the biggest class we've ever signed. So let's take a look at the top classes where we are. Oh, we're 54. 21 three stars and right above eight utah wow slowly but surely getting better and more talent in this team let's take a look at position changes one athlete in terrence slack we're gonna move him to corner we just need more help in the cornerback in the secondary in general so we're 54 overall after training results we got a decent amount of 80s and that doesn't even include the guys that we brought in so you know we might probably win two games again, but I think we might be better as a team because of it. Going into year four, let's take a look at the roster here. Uh, we're 57 overall. We do have a number of 80 overalls. This is cool. We have Connor Bradford, obviously. Uh, Langela Wooden, he's progressed. He's an 85 overall. Obviously, Ezekiel Okoye, we wish we could get to develop, but he's still a stud. Center, Sam Tobin, another sophomore. He's probably going to play at a different position on the line this year. We do have this senior middle linebacker transfer, Ty Faave. He's going to be a big piece for us this year. Another transfer in left outside linebacker, King Joseph Edwards. One of the studs on this team has been here forever. Middle linebacker Rashawn Horn. He's just going to continue to get better. Bring in center transfer Will Larkins. We're just going to continue to put these centers at different positions on the offensive line. We just need more talent. Senior free safety Shamir Dodson. He's someone that developed. That's huge for us. It's his senior year. He's been here for all four years. Started all four years. Been a stud for us this whole time. We do have a senior quarterback transfer. We Again, we're, we're trying to develop freshmen, but at the end of the day, right now, our best chance to win is with senior quarterbacks from the transfer portal. Bring in right tackle Trace Calloway. We have a lot of centers, but this is a guy that's going to be a stud at right tackle. We also have a really good left tackle in Ezekiel prior started last year he's just going to continue to get better defensive line joey brodsky and shane Ruder, two guys we've recruited they're developing really well also have left guard really good acre we have six quality offensive linemen we do bring in running back javine simpkins the senior gonna be our lead back we also do have the senior transfer deshaun bishop we have a two-headed monster in the backfield it's gonna be really important that we lead on these guys our final guy we're gonna talk about Ladamian gore he's a right outside linebacker he's been a guy that's developed since year one he's finally a senior he's finally really good at the end of the day i don't know if we're gonna win many games maybe any but our team is the best it's ever been quarterback we do have a number of freshmen and sophomores on this team we still do have white quinn's gonna be our guy i don't really know if we have the long-term quarterback answer on the roster i probably am gonna look to recruit this position again and or go to the transfer portal running back same thing we have three seniors we do have freshman colt daniels i'll probably redshirt him but i still probably want to go to the transfer portal for this at left tackle we do have ezekiel prior he's, he's gonna be here for a couple years so we're gonna be good here willie goodacre is gonna come back for his senior year we're gonna be fine at left guard at center we have langela wooden he's a junior we have two sophomores we're gonna be fine at center 
center. Right guard, outside of Ben Muraski, we're kind of, we still have a lot of bunch of 12 overall, so we're gonna have to recruit this position heavy. Right tackle, we have Trace Callaway, so again, we're gonna be fine here. Left end, we have Joey Brodsky, he's gonna be here for a couple more years, so we're gonna be fine there. Right end, Shane Reuters, only junior, so we're gonna be fine there. Maybe get some more depth pieces, because we don't want the Quincy Boone playing. King Joseph Edwards is only a junior, so we're gonna be fine for this year and next year, but after that, we're gonna have to get someone there. In middle linebacker, we have Rashawn Horn, he's only a junior, he's gonna be back for one more year, so we're gonna be fine here. Right outside linebacker, Connor Bradford, only a junior, he's easily the best player on our team. We're gonna be fine at this spot. We're gonna have to get someone to replace Shamir Dotson. We only have one free safety on roster, and it's him. He's a senior, so we're gonna have to get someone there. Probably gonna have to recruit this position heavily, if not go to the transfer portal. And then Ezekiel Okoye, he's a senior. We do have Devin Lennon, but I don't really know how I feel about him, so we're probably gonna have to recruit this position heavy. We got a lot of needs we gotta fill. Next up, we gotta fill up our recruiting board. Let's do that now. Just trying to load up the team with three star guys. We're going after middle linebacker Cody Fajoko, left outside linebacker Lester Turbin, same thing. Left end Jeremy Cleveland, he can help on the defensive line. Left guard Sergio Lieber, helping our offensive line. Miles Kotu on defense, Zach Dahl, the left guard on offense. Hunter Giannapoli, helping fill up the trenches on the defensive side. Malik Baggin, hopefully he can be the running back of the future. Right guard, Vernon Tabor. Middle linebacker, Craig Brisby. Right guard, Jadavion Babbers. Right outside linebacker, LaShawn Kalu. Middle linebacker, Edmund Hunt. And middle linebacker, Corn Blackwell. So, gonna go after a select number of three stars. Gotta get these guys. So let's take a look at our schedule going into this season. We don't play a big zero game. We start the season in Iowa. We host Western Kentucky, FCS Northwest. We go to Kentucky, host Virginia. Then we go to South Alabama. We host Kent State, Akron, Sam Houston. We have our bye, and then we go to Notre Dame, host Utah State, and go to Buffalo. This is another interesting schedule. Hoping we can pick up a win here against FCS Northwest. If not, it's gonna be a tough year. We're gonna go after left guard Kiki Alubi. We just, I wanna continue to just get as much talent as I can. This guy's interested in coming here at the end of the day. We need high level offensive line talent to be able to run the options. So at the end of the day, he's someone we should go after. Taking on winless Sam Houston State. I have a feeling we're going to give them their first win. We don't. We take down Sam Houston State. We're three and six. We do get Craig Shell as well. Just continuing to get high level talent. That's what we can do. We do get Craig Brisby. We're gonna take off Emmett Hunt from our board. He commits to Arkansas State. We are gonna go after Cordell Booth again. We don't really have many defensive tackles and we run a 3-3-5. Having someone that can play that position is huge. We even hopped into a game this season. I'm gonna just see how we do against Notre Dame. If we can keep it competitive, I might try to win this game. Here we go, quick screen. We got some, okay, we got some speed. We're way faster. Get there! We just got a first down, let's go! I'm airing this bitch out. Fuck it, I know we run the read option, but damn it, I'm trying to launch this ball around. Give me a couple yards, we'll take five, four. Get there! Oh, you gotta have that! I've invested so much into punting. Oh, an elite punt. Boom, that ball, I did not think I was gonna do that. So we got a good punter, now I know that. That's pretty fucking cool. Gotta get a stop here. I'm flying back with Bradford here. Get there! We gotta stop! Let's go! No! Why are you going for it? I'm selling out for the run. There was a run! We got it! Let's go! I mean, let's see if we can hit him with this roller. Man, this is gonna be tough. That's fine. This is what we've been investing so much resources in to kick into field goals and punters and special teams for. Let's go! We need a huge stop here. That's me. Get there! Let's go! If we can get a touchdown out of this drive, we might do it. No, 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 oh, I wanted to lead him this way. We're kicking this ball with like, and it's gonna end the third quarter. Just snuck it in there. Okay, third and nine defense. We need a big one here. I'm on Gore. I'm flying back. Get, oh, we gotta have that so close. Fill gaps, let's go. Defense is everywhere. I'm on Horn. I got the running back. Defense, we gotta fly around one more time. They ran, they ran the ball. I can't believe they ran the ball. Oh my God. This is making me so nervous. I'd rather be safe, man. This gives off fake vibes. I need to milk as much clock as I can. Get out of there. Get out of there! Stay on your feet! Get down, let's go! I don't even know if Quinn is a running quarterback, bro. I just took off. One first down. Take off, take off, take off! Let's go! No way! I think we're gonna do it! We just took down Notre Dame! Oh my god! No way! No way! No way! Holy shit! Oh 
My God. 177 yards of offense, 47 rushing yards, 130 passing yards. Bro, I was out there slinging that bitch around. Dude, I'm out of this fucking racing. Defensively, everywhere, bro. Sean Stitzer was huge. The sacks by the defense, the like Damian Gore, Connor Bradford, huge. They couldn't have been more timely. I cannot believe we just fucking beat Notre Dame. We get three star defensive tackle Miles Code to. We saw how important defensive line is. I'm glad we've been recruiting that heavy. Our championship contender goes up to a B minus. Listen, I don't anticipate us winning more, more games. I'm probably not gonna hop into another one. I just cannot believe I pulled that off. We're gonna take Corn Blackwell off the board. He commits to Indiana. We were gonna add Jalen Breeze, a right end to our board. As we've seen, loading up on D-line is important. We're gonna add Dylan McCants to the board. Three-star athlete. Nobody's really going after him. I think we have a chance to get him. We are gonna add three-star athlete Cole Hicks in three-star wide receiver. Dante Figueroa to the board. Again, we just need to get more playmakers. We've done a lot of good recruiting at trench positions and linebackers, but we really need to get skill positions now. So that's what we're going to try to do here. We get three star left and Jesse Jarvis. We end the season four and eight. Honestly, super proud of that. Fired again? Dude, what? All right, we got fired again. I don't know why we're getting fired. We won four games. Our goal was to win four games. This is so frustrating, dude. It's just going to make recruiting so much tougher. 110 coach points. Let's go. This should get me almost all the way back to where I was in terms of recruiting, which is huge. Let's take a look at early national signing day. Brought in Coco Fajoko, Craig Shell, Lester Turbin, George Bugs, Jesse Jarvis, Jason Earl, Jeremy Cleveland, Sergio Lieber, Miles Kotu, Malik Pageant, and Craig Bigsby. Really good class, and we're just going to make it better. I'm excited to see how this goes. Our pro potential moves up to a C minus conference prestige to a B minus. We're 59 overall. Our defense was 61 overall. Obviously, the best we've ever done. We took town Notre Dame. More often, divine talent and three star center Cole Hicks. We'd love to see that. Let's see who's leaving. Shane Costanza. So, oh, that actually sucks because that's someone I could have seen playing for us. We don't like that. We are losing Ezekiel Okoye. That sucks. He's an 85 overall. We're also losing Deshaun Bishop, Harris Patterson, Wyatt Quinn, Ben Moran, Jay Even Simpkins, Ty Faave, Jameer Dawson, and Will Lark. We're losing a lot of talent. Really got to hope that we continue to recruit well. We do get three star running back Dylan McCants. We love to see that. With the losses we suffered at running back, he's going to be a huge piece right away. Taking a look at the transfer portal, we're going to go after Mackie Frazier, the running back from Army. John Steese, the defensive tackle from Western Michigan. Travion Dunbar, the running back from West Virginia. Caden Williams, the running back from Georgia Southern. Kiefer Sibley, the running back from North Texas, Joseph Dodds running back from Baylor, Jason Cantrell the right end from Kent State, Peter Johnson the left end from Texas, Jaden Bell the left guard from Kentucky, Gordon Lett the right tackle from Air Force, Gio Soy in the defensive tackle from number 24 Mississippi State, he's a huge kid, James Silvestro the middle linebacker from South Carolina, Chad Shaver a left guard from number 10 Syracuse, he could be huge get for us, two tight ends and Matavius Collins from UTEP and Mateo Toledo from UL Monroe, just trying to get more skill position players, we used our tight ends a lot in that game against Notre Dame, so we got a big transfer class ahead of us boys. We get three star middle linebacker James Silvestro, three star halfback Caden Williams, three star halfback Joseph Dodds, three star halfback Kiefer Sibley, we really loaded up at running back, we need to, I mean at the end of the day we run the option, we gotta have a play plethora of elite running backs and that's huge for us gordon let commits doing a lead we're gonna take him off our board we are gonna add gerald blow to our board he's a left guard from number 13 georgia tech he would be a huge piece for us we get three-star defensive tackle john sheets we get three-star wide receiver dante figueroa three-star left end peter johnson we had a great and i mean a great transfer class and with 30 coach points we're gonna finish out the recruiter tree i don't need anything else from this we have maxed it out we're gonna keep five coach points and we're gonna save it for motivator taking a look at the class we signed a litany of great prospects james Silvestro, the middle linebacker transfer, transfer John Sheets, transfer Caden Williams, transfer Joseph Dodds, transfer Kiefer Seabley, transfer Peter Johnson. He's only a freshman. He's going to be here for a while. And we bring in freshman Dylan McCants, Coco Fajoko, Craig Shell, Lester Turbin, George Bugs, Jesse Jarvis, Jason Earl, Colt Hicks, Jeremy Cleveland, Dante Figueroa, Sergio Labor, Miles Kutu, Malik Baggin, and Craig Brisby. Let's see where we ranked in the classes. I can't imagine we're anywhere above like 60, but still a bunch of three stars. We love it. No, we're 58, 23 stars. We'll take it, bro. We'll take it. I don't know how TCU's up here when they only have 10, three or better stars, but we don't want it. We like our class. Our class is awesome. We're 70. We're 69 overall, 70 defense, 68 offense. We're getting really good really quick. We love to see it. We got three athletes, Dylan McCants. We're going to put him at linebacker. He's going to be a starting linebacker for us day one. Cole Hicks, we're going to put him on the D-line. He could probably start for us right now. And then Jason Earl, we're going to put him opposite. We just got some three big defensive pieces. We love to see that. Training results. After training results, we're 71. This doesn't even include the players we brought in. This is so good. And not everybody's a senior. We do have some sophomores. Got some juniors. Love to see it. At quarterback, we do have a question mark. We're going to go with the sophomore, Tavon Willoughby. We'll see how good he is. 
He does have 76 speed. We do have some other sophomores that have good speed, but he's probably going to be our guy this year. At running back, gone is Javon Simpkins and Deshaun Bishop. We do have a three-headed monster in the backfield of running backs, all seniors again, Caden Williams, Joseph Dodds, and Kiefer Siebley. We're going to have to recruit this position heavy because we really don't have anybody out on here. I don't really know how I feel about Malik Magin or Colt Daniels, but we'll see what we'll do with this position this year. We do utilize our fullback a lot. We do have Joshua Dobbins. I'm good at this position for a while. Left tackle, we're going to be good for a while. We do have, again, Ezekiel Pryor. We also brought in Aiden Schuster. We're going to have a little position battle here. Left guard, we have Willie Goodacre, but we also have Max Jackson with two seniors. They're both going to be gone next year. I don't know how I feel about Sergio Lieber. We're going to have to register him. We're going to go with Leangelo Wooden this year, but we do have a bunch of good centers. These guys are going to be great all over the offensive line, but next year is going to be Tommy Williams. We're going to be fine at center. We lose Ben Moraski. We're going to start probably one of either Tommy Williams or Sam Tobin at right guard, but we need to get someone here for going into next year. We do have Trace Callaway at right tackle, but he's going to be gone, so we're really going to have to replace this position going into next year as well. At left end, we do have Joey Brodsky, so we're going to be fine for another couple of years at this position we don't have to worry about this right now right end we do though we do have shane rudder but he's gone after this season jason earl i don't know how i feel about him after that we don't got nothing so we're gonna have to get someone here a defensive tackle we do have john sheets and dimitri davy we only run at three three fives so we only have one defensive tackle so we should be fine at this position for a little bit a left side linebacker we do have king joseph edwards but outside of that and he's a senior i don't really know how i feel about lester turbin and dylan mccann's we're probably going to look to upgrade this position Middle linebacker, Rashawn Horn, James Sylvester, we bring him in. I mean, at the end of the day, these guys are great, but they're gone next year. Not sure how I feel about Coco Fajoko and Craig Bigsby. Um, probably going to look to get more depth at this position as well. We have Connor Bradford. I feel comfortable with Maka. I mean, he's a junior. We're going to have this position solid for another couple of years. At cornerback, we just need more depth, but we have some great pieces here in cornerback Terrence Slack and Sean Stitzer. They were huge in the Notre Dame game. Without Shamir Dotson at free safety, we're going to have to rely on true freshman Brian Ferreira. We'll see how he does, but this is probably a position I look to upgrade. Devin Lennon, again, I don't really know how I feel about him. Probably going to look to get someone to replace him as well. And then kicker Lionel Venable, he's been a stud for us. We're going to be having him for a couple more years, so I don't think I'll be worrying about special teams that much. Gone through and registered some guys. Let's let's update our board now. Just going to go after a bunch of three stars again. Left guard Trent DeMarco. Quarterback Kevin Garvin. He could be the quarterback of the future for this team. We really need to find someone. Right guard Rashawn Derrick. Running back Brendan DuBois. Defensive tackle Eric Banks. Left guard Nolan Pagan. Left outside linebacker Cedric Peschel. Running back Cam Pitts. Left outside linebacker Troy Kamara. Right guard Quentin Alba. Middle linebacker Paul Gilmore. Another quarterback in Seth McIntosh. Cornerback Quincy Keene. Middle linebacker Shane Lafferty and middle linebacker Derek Cohn. All right, next up, let's take a look at our schedule. We open at Penn State. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> what the hell? We host New Mexico State. We go to number 25, Western Kentucky. We host Jacksonville State. We host FCS East. We go to Arkansas State. Host Louisiana. Go to number 24, Texas A&M. Host UConn. Host Rutgers. Have our bye. Then we go to UL Ron Row and number five, Oklahoma. Wow. Significantly tougher schedule. We are a better team, but Gonna get to, it's going to be tough to win games against that schedule. Even though we're only in week one, we have the ability to start scheduling visits. I did it for Rashawn Derrick. We switched to the hard sell. I'm going to get Eric Banks on a hard sell after this. We are his first option, so I feel comfortable just giving him 10 points for this one. We get three-star right guard Rashawn Derrick. First win of the year. We love to see that. Joey Brodsky, three TFLs, four tackles. The independent defense play of the week against Western Kentucky. Take a look at this. Wow, we got smoked. Oh, my God. We are just getting cooked. We get three-star left guard Trent DeMarco. Three-star defensive tackle Eric Banks. We just got to have guys continue to develop. This season is quick. Quickly spiraling. I will say that though, this is not good. We get three star quarterback Kevin Garvin, might be the quarterback of the future. We get another three star running back in Brandon Dubose. We just got to keep getting talent on this team. We get our first win of this season against FCSCs. That's huge. We get three-star left guard Nolan Pagan. Three-star right. Three-star left outside linebacker Cedric Payshall. This season is spiraling quickly. Oh, my goodness. Three-star running back Cam Pitts commits to Missouri after that loss. We're going to take him off our board. We're going to replace him with Raheem Terrell. He's a Juco running back, but I think he could help us right away. And we need that help right now. We're one and six. This is a game against Texas A&M. I kind of just want to see how the team looks. I don't anticipate winning this game, but fuck it. We want a chance to win this game. We absolutely have to dominate the time of possession that was a risky ball great catch by Stuttle we don't have the quarter we don't have the speed I couldn't throw it away we have a fast quarterback but AM has the, some great speed defense is gonna have to carry us again third and ten screen let's go when I hop into this game they play so well get there nice throw to Von Willoughby Great run, okay, there we go. Joseph Dodds, we got some speed there. <sighs> Handed it off, let's go, good run. Gonna put Figueroa on a drag here. Hit my crosser. There we go, we're moving the ball. I can't believe I'm about to run verticals at the triple option team. This is such an ugly call. 
Gotta let it go. Let, gotta let it rip. I just threw it up. I just threw a Hail Mary ball to a legitimately a 5'10 receiver. I'm on Ferreira in the back. If we can get a stop here, that would be huge. <sighs> How did that... Let's go. We forced a fourth down. There's probably a field goal out of this. We're moving the ball really well. I think we can, if we can hit this post, if I have time. I didn't have the... I don't think I have the kicker for a 50 yard. Oh, they're in goal line. They're in goal line. Throw it. No. Why did he pump fake? Go up field, Willoughby. I should have handed that off, but... It worked. The wide receiver screen, I love calling it. Get upfield, get upfield, get upfield! Figueroa, get there, get there! You Give me no, win. we just won! We just took out Jack Sadem at Kyle Field! Let's go, let's go! How good do you think I am at this game? That is fucking hard to do. I'm not trying to get fired again, baby. Get left outside linebacker, Troy Kamara. Why wouldn't you want to come to Prairie Ridge, bro? That was awesome. Championship contender goes up to a C mine as well. When we sim, we're probably gonna lose this next game, so it don't even matter. James Silvestro, a tackle for loss, a tackle. Independent Offensive Player of the Week, or excuse me, Defensive Player of the Week. Dante Figueroa, seven receptions for 149 yards, two touchdowns. Those screens, we're running those screens to perfection. Three tackles and a force fumble, two fumble recoveries, two receiving touchdowns for Dante Figueroa. Holy shit, bro, I'm not gonna lie. Winning games with this team is so hard, but it's so fun. We get three-star right guard, Quentin Alba. Three-star middle linebacker, Paul Gilmore. Just continuing to add depth to this team, we need it. We are gonna go after a three-star defensive tackle, Evan Morrison. I think he'd be a huge addition for our team. We are gonna go after three-star center, Doug Pitt. Again, we are going to add three star strong safety Ron Avant to the board. We don't really have a good strong safety yet. We need to get as much depth there as we can. We get three star cornerback Quincy Keen. We love that. We are going to add three star left tackle Nate Kenyon to the board as well. We really need elite offensive linemen, so we might as well have as many good ones as we can get. We get three star halfback Raheem Terrell, three star center Doug Pitts. Just continuing to get more talent on the team. That's all we need to do right now. There's no way we win this game against Oklahoma. Might as well fucking sim it. We get three star quarterback Seth McIntosh, so that's cool. Oh my god, we beat Oklahoma. How the fuck did we beat Oklahoma? Javon will be 153 yards, two touchdowns the independent offensive player of the week and we have coast points i can unlock motivator we need the offensive line to just continue to get better i really want to get this but the problem is i need two first round draft picks and or i want to do this but i need two top five recruiting classes so that's going to be even harder take a look at the players of the week how the hell did we beat oklahoma we annihilated oklahoma 153 yards through the air two touchdowns 42 rushing yards and a touchdown we have three and nine we got to make some changes and i don't know what we're going to do but I, we're just continuing to get better this was a much tougher schedule but damn we got to make some win loss improvement soon. We're going to add another offensive lineman to the board and three-star center Logan Godwin. Can't have too many good offensive linemen. We've seen how important they are for us. We're also going to add middle linebacker Emmanuel Rhodes to the board. He'd be a great pickup for this team. So we finish year five, three and nine. Not the worst year, but you get three-star defensive tackle Evan Morrison, three-star strong safety Ron Avant. At the end of the day, we're getting better. We just need to start translating that into some wins. And if I take a look at our staff, I'm going to fire Danny White. He doesn't run the same system as us. He does have a nice pipeline, but I think we need to get a better defensive coordinator. Nate Kenyon commits to in the we're gonna take him off the board, but we're gonna replace him with Eric Arolo. 50 coach points. Let's see what we wanna do with these. I just wanna put as much of these in the motivator as I can. I really just need to get the offseason training boost. Excellent. And then now, once we can unlock this, we'll do, we'll get talent developer. Let's take a look at early national signing day. Managed to bring in Evan Morrison, Trent DeMarco, Kevin Garvin, Raheem Terrell, Rashawn Derrick, Brendan Dubose, Doug Pitts, Eric Banks, Nolan Pagan, Ron Avant, Cedric Pashal, Troy Kamara, Quentin Alba, Paul Gilmore, Seth McIntosh, and Quincy Keen. A huge class. We love to see that but let's figure out who we want to get for our new defensive coordinator zach small is a 425 northern illinois defensive coordinator either him or you after jamerson Hagens. i kind of like zach small let's see his talent tree here oh he's got motivator talent tree too oh i'm going we're gonna hire zach small if we can get him get someone who knows the area he's from illinois he has an illinois pipeline that would be amazing for us did we get him we did zach small is our new defensive coordinator he does want a different scheme but he has a nice pipeline. He's got motivator. Our conference prestige goes up to a B plus. We like to see that. Do we have anybody transferring out? No, just a bunch of guys graduating. I think we're all out of 12 overalls too. Losing Max Jackson, Leangelo Wooden, Connor Bradford, Shane Roeder, King Joseph Edwards, Trace Calloway, really good acre, Caden Williams, James Silvestro, John Sheets. That's tough. We lost a lot of good talent. We really got to hope we can replace that. We really got to hope all the stuff we invested in motivator helps our guys develop. We actually had a draft. Hey, Leangelo Wooden got drafted in the seventh round. This is the first time we 
we've had a draft pick. That's awesome. Taking a look at the transfer portal, we're going to go after a massive transfer class. We're going after free safety Alonzo Marshall from Maryland, tight end Carlos Sash from Arkansas, left off tight linebacker Jamal Childs from Notre Dame, middle linebacker Carl Stevens from Maryland, fullback Clyde Morton from Texas State, free safety Ben Cherry from Iowa State, with Darius Boulware and Frederick Frazier, two defensive linemen from Bowling Green. We're going after Xavier Tutin from New Mexico State, defensive tackle Geo Swain from Troy, right end Sam Longer from Temple, and Manny Buchanan, the receiver from Fresno State. A massive transfer class. We jump to an 81 overall. Our team might actually go bowling this season. We get three-star middle linebacker Emmanuel Rhodes, three-star left end Ladarius Boulware, three-star left end Xavier Tutin, three-star left outside linebacker Jamal Childs, three-star defensive tackle Frederick Frazier, three-star free safety Ben Cherry. That's a huge one. Another middle linebacker in Carl Stevens. We got boatload of transfers. Love that. We are going to add Stanley Riggs. The we're going to add Stanley Riggs. The we're going to add Stanley Riggs, the right tackle out of number 14 Washington State. Only a freshman. He's only one star, but he's going to develop. After offseason recruiting, let's see who we got. We get three-star free safety Alonzo Marshall, three-star tight end Carlos Sash, three-star defensive tackle Geo Swain, three-star running back Josh mentor we got a massive transfer class we love to see that this, this might be the year we make a bowl game i mean let's look at the class we got a massive class transfer the darius bulware transfer xavier tutin transfer jamal child transfer frederick frazier transfer ben cherry transfer carl stevens transfer alonzo marshall transfer carlos sash transfer geo swain transfer clyde morton then we bring in the freshmen josh mentor evan morrison eric arroyo trent demarco kevin garvin logan godwin raheem terrell Rashawn Derrick, Brendan Dubose, Doug Pitt, Eric Banks, Emmanuel Rhodes, Nolan Payne, Ron Avon, Cedric Pichel, Troy Kamara, Quentin Alba, Paul Gilmore, Seth McIntosh, Quincy Keen. My goodness, let's see how good this class was. I can't imagine we're anywhere near the top 50 either. We're exactly 50. 32. We brought in 32 guys, 29 three stars in three two stars. We are cooking right now. One athlete in Josh Mentor. We're going to make him an outside linebacker. We don't really need guys at running back right now. We really need help on defense. Let's use these 20 coach points again we're just gonna keep hammering motivator until we can get you know something else upgraded we don't really need tactician right now we might as well just keep getting guys better and everybody's gonna get an off-season training boost except for our d linemen and our quarterbacks but i think we'll be okay and that's what we'll be focusing on next we're in 84 overall my goodness we made a, a miraculous jump a host of 80 overalls we don't even have the guys that were on the team that we just added this is gonna be a fun year and finally we are completely out of 12 overalls we finally recruited enough college guys to get rid of them all thank god 84 overall we're a one and a half star program we're in a good spot quarterback we're going to be led by russ aviles i feel okay with him being our guy and he's probably going to be a guy our guy next year i wasn't really that impressed by Tavon willoughby and he didn't really make a jump aviles is faster he's got more acceleration he's more agile he's got 95 change of direction 92 throw power i mean this guy's he's our guy this year at running back we're a little thin we don't really have a running back that i feel comfortable with i mean we lost caden williams joseph dobb caden williams joseph dobbs and Kiefer Siebley. we're gonna have to find someone to step up at fullback we really don't have anybody either i mean we have some i really want to get a better fullback george bugs might be the guy in the future but Probably going to look to upgrade this position as well. We do have Tobias Connor, a wide receiver. He's a stud junior. Um, he's going to be here for another year after this, so we're really excited to have him. And then at left tackle, Aiden Schuster and Ezekiel Pryor. Ezekiel Pryor is gone after this year, but Aiden Schuster is going to be here another year. We're really excited to have this offensive line continue to get better. Left guard, gone is Willie Goodacre and Max Jackson. We do have Sergio Lieber. He's the transfer from Washington State. He was a one-star transfer. He's literally an 80 overall. I'm so glad we went after him. He's going to be a starter pipe for the next four years. We're loaded at center. Tommy Wims, Sam Tobin, Karyansa, we're going to be fine here. Even though these two are seniors, we still have Tommy Wims for another year. Left end, we're absolutely loaded. Joey Brodska, he's a senior, but even after him, Xavier Tudin, he might be a senior, but damn it, we got Peter Johnson, we got Ladarius Boulware. We're going to be loaded at this position for a long time. At right tackle, we do have Jabari Searcy. He's a true freshman, but I don't really know how I feel about him. We're probably going to have to find someone to replace him. I mean, gone is Trace Calloway, and we didn't really get anybody to replace him, which is not a good look. At right end, we do have Jason Earl. We lose Shane Reuter, but we probably gonna want to get someone to start here or maybe even move one of these left ends over there. At defensive tackle, we have Dimitri David. We have two other seniors in Frederick Frazier and Joe Swain, but after that, we don't really have much. We're probably gonna have to find someone to replace these guys going into next season. Left outside linebacker, we do have Jamal Childs. We're gonna be good at this spot for a while. And middle linebacker, gone is James Silvestro. Gone is Rashawn Horn. We don't really have anybody that I feel comfortable manning this position. We're gonna have to find some more depth somewhere. Right outside linebacker, gone is Connor Bradford, but we do have Maka Tui Kolovaru. He's a senior. We're going to have to find someone to replace him. At corner, we have Terrence Slack and Sean Stitzler. I feel okay with the corner. Just going to have to get some more depth. I mean, 
but other than that we have guys there that are studs and then a kicker we have lionel venable but even in the wings we have martin salcedo so we're gonna be good at kicker for a while went through our red shirts now it's time to fill up the recruiting board we're gonna try to specialize we're going after we're gonna go after our first couple four stars of the entire video kevin elephant and Von, right end von spain if we can get these guys we could completely change the trajectory of our program all right let's take a look at the schedule this could be a mega break here we host louisiana we host number 20 western kentucky we host fcs northwest we go to cal we go to number 14 auburn we host temple host a&m we go to number 22 syracuse host ucla go to number seven wisconsin host ul monroe go to number and go to tennessee okay we play four ranked teams golly bro this is gonna be a tough year boys we're at the point in recruiting where we can start doing visits we're having guys come against temple i think that's a huge game for us we can get elfleen and von spain we're gonna be in a great spot the top end of this game against western kentucky i want you guys to see the field for the first time i know it's like year five but at the end of the day i was saving this field for a game that i thought we could win i think we win this one there we go boys the maroon field it's raining third and seven let's bust out excuse me the wide receiver screen Oh, gotta get something going on offense our defense has been great so far excellent i don't know why their defense did that but that was beautiful dude i just got popped what was that dude that is such cheese i don't understand why they line up like that that's so weird we dominated western kentucky and just like that we get our first one of the season our first home win we get three star free safety damian gold huge we need some safety help so that's a big get for us championship contender moves up to a c do have 10 coach points just gonna keep putting this in motivator right now that's all we can really do and we get our first four star of the video right end von spain that is huge for this program and i think for the first time we have a winning record and we get the other four star we're going after strong safety kevin elfling huge we're going to auburn <laughs> All right, well, we're probably not gonna beat Auburn. Our championship contender moves up to a B minus. We beat Auburn. Let's take a look at this game. Terrence Slack, the cornerback, two picks, three tackles, and a touchdown. Must have had a pick six. And the national defensive play of the week. That is so huge for his development. Three tackles, two picks, and an interception. We smoked Auburn. Our season is slowly slipping away. Taking on Syracuse. I'm gonna sim it. Our championship contender jumps up to a B minus. We actually take down Syracuse. Let's take a look at this game. Lester Turbin, four tackles, probably hit an uh, interception or something. Independent defense play of the week. Five tackles, two sacks. We annihilate Syracuse. Our team is so up and down, and it's so weird. We lose to Australia. Our championship contender falls to a C. Ugh, we're regressing. You know what's even worse about this is that we're not going to we're not going to be we're not going to get a bowl game because one of our games is an FCS school. So we're going to have to either win out or we have to go seven and five, I think. Which at this rate, I don't know if that's going to happen. Championship contender falls to a D minus. We're five and five. Coco Fajoko, four tackles, the independent defense for the week. We love to see that. Just, continuing to get our guys development but damn it's really frustrating that we were like four and one or three and four and two and we're probably not gonna make a bowl game unless we went out 27 to 17 he had eight tackles played good just not good enough our championship contender goes up to a c we're six to five we win this game we're gonna be bold for the first time in program history ben cherry five tackles sophomore free safety independent defense for the week i'm sure he had a forced fumble or something he was actually the national defense for the week he must have done something crazy eight tackles two forced fumbles and four fumble recoveries oh my god our defense was flying around we beat tennessee our championship contender moves up to a b minus we're going bowling oh my god i did not think we were gonna do that this year holy shit we had a fantastic season championship contender goes up to a b we're back to an 84 overall team we're playing good football right now we actually got our contract extended let's take a look at this a five-year extension after that that's huge been fired like fucking five times holy shit we finally got there and our first bowl game is the radiant independence bowl against washington state not bad we have 40 coach points i mean objectively i don't really have anything i want to put this on except motivator i mean i might as well just upgrade motivator more and more at this point right usually i don't upgrade motivator this much because i usually am able to unlock talent developer but or at least elite recruiter but i mean might as well just keep getting our guys better and better Taking a look at early national signing day, we got the two guys we really wanted, Kevin Elfleen and Von Spain. Our first two four stars might, not be, might be able to go after a, four, a five star going in it. We might be able to go after a five star next year. We're going to sim through the Independence Bowl as cool as it'd be to play in it. We're just trying to win a national championship, so I'm trying to get through this as fast as I can. We do not win the game. We're seven and six, our first winning record of the entire thing. Bonavant is the independent defense for the week with a pick of four tackles. Let's take a look at this game. Got the figure row of the independent offense for the week. Six receptions, 167 yards and a touchdown. Our offense and our team in general is starting to figure it out. Lost by eight, five tackles and a pick. Listen, Washington State's a good team. So actually drops to a D plus, even though we have our best season ever. Coach stability jumps up to a B plus. Coach prestige jumps up to a C. Those are gonna be huge for recruiting. We jump up to a two-star program. 
That's huge. Let's take a look at players leaving. We do have three guys looking to transfer, all for playing style and playing time. Nobody that I'm really particularly that worried about, but if we can bring them all back, that'd be awesome. Darius Bulware is gone. Don't like to see that. Definitely don't like to see that. Alonzo Marshall, the freshman, he decides to stay. We love to see that. Jesse Jarvis, can we get you to stay? You do. Okay, so we bring two of three guys back. We are going to lose Sam Tobin to graduation, Lionel Venable, Maka Tui Kolovadu, Sean Stitzer, Dimitri Davey, Joey Brodsky, Ezekiel Pryor. I mean, we lost a lot of good talent. So we're, hopefully we can get some more good guys in the transfer portal. Going to add six guys to our board, six transfers to our board. Tony Smythe, right outside linebacker. Tito Uriuta, Tim Betonio, right end. Halfback Nick Anelli. Wide receiver Marcus Stacy and halfback George Zudu. Six guys I think can make an impact for us this season. We get middle linebacker Kai Johnson. We get four-star transfer Tito Uriuta. We're also going to add Mitch Landry, the free safety from Michigan, onto our board. He could be a piece right away. Plus, on a couple transfers, we need to replace some of these guys. Also going to add Barry Humphreys, the transfer center. The transfer center from Jacksonville State to our board. And then finally, we're going to add Jalen Hale, the center from Iowa to our board. Whenever you get a chance to add a Big Ten lineman to your team, you take it. We get 20 more coach points, and we can't do much with these things, so might as well just keep creating motivator. Take a look at our team national signing day. How did we do? Four-star transfer Tito Riuda, transfer Tim Betonio, transfer Nick Nelly, and then four-star freshman Kevin Elfleen, Von Spain. We had a great class. We had the 34th best class in the country. Three four-stars in 28. Three four-stars in 28. Three stars. A 31-man class. God, that's the best class we've ever had. Only have one athlete, Nate Claybrooks. We're going to make him a running back. We might as well. He's got great speed. He's going to be a big piece in our backfield. After training results, we're up to an 85 overall, 85 off of the 86 defense. Not everybody up here is a senior. We're finally starting to develop into a decent program. Let's take a look at the roster going into 2030. This is officially the longest rebuild I've ever done. Quarterback, we're going to be led by Russ Aviles. He's been a stud for us. He's a senior. We do have two other seniors in Tavon Willoughby and Rob Schultz. Outside of that, I really don't know how I feel about a quarterback on the roster. We're going to have to recruit this position pretty heavily. At running back, we have some options, right? Juniors Colt Daniels and Jordi Zudu, the transfer. We also have senior Nick and Ellie. We're going to be fine at this position for a little bit. At wide receiver, we do have Tobias Connor, but we also have three other good receivers in Dante Figueroa, Enrique Irving, and Marcus Stacy. For the first time in a while, I think our receiver class receiving for the first time in a while, our receiver room is pretty, pretty fucking loaded. Lift tackle, we do have Aiden Schuster, but behind him we have Thomas Green. I feel comfortable with this position. We're gonna be fine even after he graduates. Left guard, we got Sergio Lieber. He's only a sophomore. He's going to be here for a minute. Center is a position that I don't know how I feel about. We have Tommy Williams, but after that, I don't really know how I feel about Barry Humphreys or Doug Pitts. Or, so we're probably going to look to recruit this position as well. Right guard, we finally have some, so a lot of, the right guard, we have a lot of viable options. We have Tito Uriuda, Quentin Alba, Rashawn Derrick. We're going to be fine here for a while. Left end, we got a whole, pretty much a whole new left end room. We have Peter Johnson, but... Xavier Tootin's gone. Ladarius Bulwer transferred. Joey Broski graduated. So again, we have Peter Johnson, but now we have Jesse Jarvis. Jeremy, J Jesse Jarvis came back and he's better. Jeremy Cleveland, Cole Hicks. We got a loaded left end room. Right end, we have Jason Earl and Tim Betonio. This is a room that's, you know, we have a junior here. We got some freshmen that are getting better. I feel fine here. I left the side linebacker. We do have senior Jamal Childs, but behind him, Lester Turbin's a guy that's going to take this position over. I feel really good having him here on the team. Middle linebacker has usually been a position of weakness. It is strong now. We bring in Craig Brisby. We bring in Carl Stevens. We bring in Paul Gilmore. Cody Fah Coco Fahoko finally develops into something we're playing with. We got a loaded middle linebacker. Right outside linebacker, this is a different story. Craig Shell's the only guy we have here. Gone is Maka Tui Ikolo. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's gone. We're going to have to recruit someone to help this position out. And then at corner, we do have Terrence Slack and Alex North. They're both seniors. I don't know how I feel about Quincy Keen or Tracy Nomura. Going to have to recruit this position as well. Free safety, we're loaded. We have Brian Ferreria. We have Ben Cherry. These guys are going to be here for at least one more year. We're fine here. And then a kicker, Martin Salcedo. He's taking over the reins. He's going to be here for two years. I feel fine. We'll have to worry about kicker. We've made some progress in recruiting. We're going to start going after a bunch of four stars. We got four star athlete Donnie Cummins. Four Four-star middle linebacker Dion Upoff, left outside linebacker Marvin Dossey, four-star quarterback Manny Bloomberg, four-star right end Connor Garrison, four-star right tackle Randy Naylor, four-star left tackle Sean Bickley, four-star right tackle Nate Handy, four-star free safety Don Sean McQueen, four-star right tackle Vernon Bugs, and four-star right tackle Vernon Bugs. If we could get even half these guys, we're going to be fucking loaded going into next season. Next up, let's take a look at our schedule. The Arkansas State, Marshall, SMU, we go to Liberty, host FCS West, New Mexico State, go to Central Michigan and San Diego State, come back to take on UCF. And our final three games are at Texas saying I'm at Michigan at Utah. We might have a chance to really make a run this season. Even though it's only week one, we're going to start scheduling visits. Manny Bloomberg, the quarterback, he could be the quarterback.
put back in the future, we absolutely have to get him in the building as soon as possible. And we're gonna switch his center house to a hard sell. We know what his three motivations are. We may be able to get him right away. Our championship that goes up to a B. We actually beat Michigan. Playing Utah. We actually beat Utah. Our championship that goes up to a B plus. We're a good team. It's just it's a lot. We've had a lot of stinkers. 90, 90 yards through the air with three touchdowns against Utah. Take a look at this game. Beat them by 20. Yeah, three passing touchdowns, almost 100 yards on the ground. Russell Velas. Gonna be sad to see him go. We're five and seven. Five and seven. I've never seen this. We were two and seven home, but we only lost three games. We didn't win a game in 14, and we jumped up to number 25. Oh, <laughs> 25. What the hell is going on? What is going on? However, we are going to make some changes. I want to get a better defense. Maybe going after Zach Small was not the guy I wanted to go after. Have to get someone new in the building. Our defense two years ago was the reason we were winning all these crazy games, and, and, and now we weren't able to really stop anybody. Do get 20 more coach points. Just gonna keep putting this toward recruiter and motivator. I really would like to get either elite recruiter or perhaps a player drafted in the first round. Maybe even master motivator. We just need to get more things to spend my coach points on, if I'm being honest. Let's take a look at early national signing day. We bring in Donnie Cummins, Dion Upoff, left outside linebacker, Marvin Dossey, right end Connor Garrison, halfback Ty McCloyd, right tackle Randy Naylor, Tom Bickley, the left tackle. Easily the best class we have so far, but we're not done. We do need a new defensive coordinator, though, so let's go hire someone. Tony Kubila, the defensive coordinator at Michigan State, has an Ohio pipeline. I think that's who I'm going to go with. I know nobody's really interested in him. I like the motivator. He's does have some tactician and some recruiter. If we can get him a power five guy to come from Michigan State to Prairie Ridge, that would be huge. And we do go get Tony Kabila from Michigan State. We'd love to see that. So Dylan McCann is going to transfer. We're losing a lot of other good players, though, right? Aiden Schuster, Tommy Wims, Russell Viles, Terrence Slack, Tobias Connor, Alex North, Jamal Childs, Carl Stevens. We lost a lot of talent. We got to hope guys can develop. Taking a look at the transfer portal, we're going after a lot of guys. We'll start talking about Ben Costanzo, the junior corner from UMass. Going after another Costanzo in Shane, the quarterback from Louisville. Our quarterback position is kind of an answer going into next season. We got to get someone there. If it's not going to be him, it might be Taj Hacker. Quarterback from Wake Forest. Protecting whoever our quarterback is going to be is going to be Eric Lyles. We really need to get him. He's a great tackle from Colorado. Going after another quarterback in John Omiel, quarterback from Utah, a team we beat, so that's awesome. Going after another quarterback in Danny Torrance from Mississippi State. Another right tackle in James Hepburn from UCLA. Hunter Riddick, the tight end from Middle Tennessee State. Defensively going after Marvin Terrell, the free safety from New Mexico. Another offensive lineman in Emma Dennis from Arizona. And finally, Donovan Simonson, free safety from Nevada. We're just trying to get talent in the door. We get free safety Devin Perkins. We get quarterback Taj Hack. We get three-star left guard Emmett Dennis, three-star free safety Marvin Terrell, three-star cornerback Ben Costanzo, three-star right tackle Eric Lyles, three-star free safety Donovan Simonson, three-star quarterback John O'Meal. We're really filling out this transfer class. This is huge. We're also going to add Percy Fucha, the right end from Eastern Michigan, Dean Monk, the left end from Middle Tennessee State, and wide receiver LaMarcus Florence from Tulane to our board. These are three freshmen, very young transfers. We think they can develop over time. We get three-star wide receiver Emmanuel Robbins, three-star right tackle James Hepburn. We nailed recruiting this year. Let's take a look at National Signing Day. We had a great class. Freshman Donnie Cummins, transfer Emmett Dennis, transfer Marvin Terrell, transfer Tosh Hacker, transfer Brent Costanzo, transfer Eric Lyles, transfer Donovan Simonson. We had a great class. Let's see what ranked. Number 30 class in the country, the highest one we've had so far. Seven four stars, 22 three stars, and one two star. We're 183 overall. If we can get to an 85, I think we have a chance to really make a run this year. Bring in three athletes. Lorenzo Puzzi. We're gonna put him a quarterback. We don't really know who our quarterback of the future is gonna be. We might as well give put more people in the room. Afa Mafi, we're gonna put at fullback. His best position is that we need a lot of good fullbacks. We're gonna triple option. We need people in the backfield. Donnie Cummins, the final athlete. We're gonna put him at left end. We need help on defense. We recruited it heavily. Obviously, our defense is now at 85. We just gotta hope it gets better. Taking a look at training results. We have our first couple 90s. Wow. Sergio Lieber is a 91 offensive line. And then at right guard, Rashawn Derrick. He's only a junior, too. So for the first time in a long time, our team looks loaded. And I'm actually worried that these guys are going to leave early. I can't believe I'm saying that. I actually cannot believe I'm saying that. We're an 87 overall, 89 defense, 86 offense, a two and a half star program. We actually start this season as the number 21 team in the country. This is the first time we've been preseason ranked. I'm actually really surprised. Let's take a look at the team. We did talk about Rashawn Derrick and Sergio Lieber. We have a really solid offensive line. They're both juniors. We do have senior Emmett Dennis. He's probably going to, he's going to be gone. So even if Sergio Lieber leaves, we're still going to have to rely on Nolan Pagan and Trent DeMarco. These are two sophomores. They're going to develop. They're good now. I feel comfortable with them. And then opposite them, obviously, Rashawn Derrick. If he does leave, we do have Tito Uyuda. We do have sophomore Quentin Alba. We have sophomore Nick Fiore. For the first time in a while, I feel really comfortable with the team we already have. Everything we continue to add to this team is just going to be cherries on top. We're 88 overall. Next up, we're going to do our recruiting board. We're going to go after a litany of four stars. We're ranked. I think we can reel in a bunch of these guys. Athlete George Newfield, receiver Richard Forney, tight end Jeremiah Allison. Well, I know we have the playing time thing, but he'll be fine. 
cornerback Ricky Newcomb, cornerback Martin Proctor, free safety Chip Turner, left guard Chauncey Winthrop. Again, another playing time thing for wide receiver Jerick Murphy. We'll get that sorted out. Tight end Kasim Volson, middle linebacker Lane Van Sumeren, defensive tackle Walter Carmona, left tackle Kalen Dragos, right end Kyrie Caliendo, athlete Larry Jamison, defensive tackle Lamar Jordan, halfback Jamon Pettis, wide receiver Tavon Fabian, athlete Steve Dodge, defensive tackle Maurice Honeycutt, left tackle Dylan Felix, defensive tackle Denton Zimmer, cornerback Eric Levine, right outside linebacker Dominic Duvall, running back Matt Lasko, Mike Carver, the right end, wide receiver Greg Knox and Kevin Himmelman, right outside linebacker Athea Matungulu, wide receiver Joshua Espinoza, left guard Jared Hawker, and finally three cornerbacks in James Boatwright, Marquise Briggs, and Max O'Connell. If we can haul in a lot of these guys, we're going to be dangerous. Next up, let's take a look at our schedule. We host Minnesota, we host FCS Southeast, we go to UConn, we host number 19 Liberty, host Buffalo, host Sam Houston, we go to number 24 New Mexico State, we go to Washington State, host Western Kentucky, we get a bye, we go to number 8 Miami, we get our second bye, and we host Wyoming, go to Wake Forest. Okay, so this is a pretty tough schedule. Miami, New Mexico State, uh, Liberty, sneaky ones in Minnesota, uh, Washington State, and then at Wake Forest. See how we do this here, boys. Jeremiah Allison locks us out. We're going to take him off our board. We are going to add four-star cornerback Sean Booker. We need to get more corners in the building. He's a stud. First game of the season against Minnesota. Let's see if we can take down the Golden Gophers. And we lose to Minnesota. Let's take a look at this game. Kind of got stomped. Let's take a look. Just really couldn't get the run game going. We're at the point where we can start scheduling visits. I think we're going to schedule a bunch of people against Liberty. They're a great team. So this will be a huge win for our program. George Zudu, 13 carries, 78 yards, three touchdowns, the independent defensive player of the week. Excuse me, the independent offensive player of the week. Got the win there. Love to see that. 50 to nothing. Okay. So we, okay. <laughs> I'll take that. I think that's the first time we've ever dominated a team. Jason Earl, two sacks, four tackles, and a tackle for loss. The independent defensive player of the week. We moved to two and one. Go on the road to beat UConn. Four tackles, two sacks. Huge game from Earl. Needed it. I think we have a chance to win this game. I'm going to hop in. If we can win this game, we're going to get our season back on track. Great defense by Liberty. Damn. They're in cover two. I think I can get Stacy over the middle. Oh, they're sitting way back. Dude. <sighs> All right, defense. We've got to step up here. Oh, it's play action. Great job, defense. Third and 17. Dude. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, my God. He dropped it. Defense, we got to get a stop. Offense has got to do something. But right now, we just need to lean on our defense. Brisby, I'm on you. Second and one. Oh. Get there! Huge sack! Let's go! We got to score here on offense. It's got to be a touchdown. We got to punch this in. Oh my god, I got a yard. Get in there! Third and 12. I'm just going to sit back. I don't need to bring pressure here. The Wolves Den is shaking, boys. I can't explain it right now. How are we going to leave him open? Give me that! Game over! Oh! My! Let's go! And we take down Liberty. Greg Brisby, three tackles a sack. That was tough. That was a tough game. I think that's how we're going to have to win games, just by being super gritty. We get four-star wide receiver Richard Forney, four-star cornerback Ricky Newcomb, four-star cornerback Martin Proctor, four-star quarterback George Newfeld. That's huge. Four-star wide receiver Jarek Murphy locks us out. We're going to take him off our board. We actually take down Buffalo, move to four, and when we're back, ranked for number 24 in the country, a B-plus in championship contender. Four-star defensive tackle Lamar Jordan commits to Tennessee. We're going to take him off our board. Four-star running back Jerome Pettis locks us out. We're going to take him off the board. We're taking on Sam Houston. We're going to sim this one. We got bigger games. I mean, like, we shouldn't have a problem taking on Sam Houston. They're a good team, but at the end of the day, if we're 24th in the country, we got to take them down. When we actually lose to Sam Houston State, let's take a look at this game against Sam Houston State. Wow, we just didn't lose. We got punched in the throat. Oh, my goodness. After the loss to Sam Houston State, Lane Van Sumeren commits to Miami, Ohio. We're going to take him off our board. Wide receiver Tavon Fabian. Locks us out. We're going to take him off our board. Maurice Honeycutt commits to Mizzou. We didn't want him anyways. Dylan Felix commits to Wisconsin. We're going to take him off the board. And Denton Zimmer commits to North Carolina State. We're going to take him off the board. We're going to add four-star running back Ezekiel Arm onto the board. I think he's someone that can come and help us right away. We're going to take cornerback Eric Levine off the board as well as right outside linebacker Dominic Duvall. Damn, bro. That's crazy. We did add four-star right tackle Keelan Rahman. He's, we need a booth of our offensive line. So we got to get a pass protector in there. We do get four-star right end Kyrie Caliendo, four-star cornerback Sean Booker. Just need to get more guys on the team, but championship contenders fall into a C. We are at risk of losing a lot of guys in this transfer portal if we don't step it up soon. Because of the way we've been playing, Walter Carmona.
Ramona actually locked us out because of his deal breaker. Still in the top three, but damn, we gotta make something happen. Same thing with Stevie Dodge, or excuse me, same thing with Steve Dodge and Ezekiel Arma. We gotta start winning some games. Four star red and Mike Carver commits to Missouri. We didn't want him anyways. Benzel Wooden, four star athlete, locks us out. And four star, and four star wide receiver Greg Knox commits to Oklahoma, so we're gonna take him off our board. We did add four star right guard Randy Reese to our board. We just need more talent. He's a guy that's not really being recruited heavily, so we're gonna go after him. Four star right outside linebacker Athea Matungulu commits to TCU. We're gonna take him off our board. Four star right guard, four star right guard Bobby Jackson locks us out. We're gonna take him off the board. Four star receiver Joshua Espinosa commits to Louisville, so we're gonna take him off. Four star center Malik Mills commits to Miami, Ohio, so he's gone. Four star left guard Jared Hawker locks us out. We're gonna take him off the board. The trio of corners in James Boatwright, Murray Spriggs, and Max O'Connell all take us off the board, so we're gonna knock them out. Ron Avant, five tackles, the independent defensive player of the week. We do love to see that. I got 10 coach points. I gotta use that on tactician. We gotta make something happen here. And we got smoke. The force fumble, two fumble recoveries. Golly, man, I don't know what's going on. And Richard Forney actually decommits and locks us out because of how we've been playing. That is not good. That is so not good. Chauncey Winthrop commits to Troy. Kasim Valson commits to Louisville. Things are quickly spiraling, boys. This is not good. Even though we didn't win, game championship contender goes up to a D plus. We just gotta win games, man. We gotta win games. And I don't know if we're gonna win one against Miami. Miami's a great team. Steve Dodge commits to Michigan. We're gonna take him off our board. Matt Lasko commits to Notre Dame. We're gonna take him off the board. Our championship contender drops to a D. Miami takes us down. This is just not good. And Keelan Rahman commits to Memphis. We're gonna take him off our board. We get four-star wide receiver Kevin Himmelman. We just need talent right now, man. We're we're struggling. Our championship contender jumps up to a C minus. That's actually huge. We get four-star right guard Randy Reese. Our championship contender falls to a D. We gotta make some moves. I might have to fire our defensive coordinator again, man. We we can't stop anything. Because that loss, Walter Carmona commits to Florida State. Kalen Dragos commits to Ohio State. Kyrie Caliendo locks us out. Larry Jamison commits to Illinois. And Ezekiel Arma commits to Florida State. So we just lost a lot of the guys on our board. That's so, this is so tough, boys. This is not an easy rebuild. We fall to four and eight. We gotta make some changes. We gotta make some changes. We gotta do something. I don't know if it's our offense or if it's our defense. I don't know what we need to change, but something's gotta give. I think I'm gonna fire coach Tony Kabila. I just, I don't really like Frank Thornton's bit, but I love what he brings to the team and his talent tree is huge. I just can't afford to lose it right now. And I gotta get something different in, in here on defense, man. Taking a look at early national signing day, not a big class, right? We bring in four star George Newfield. Field, four star corner Ricky Newcomb, Martin Proctor, another corner, Sean Booker, another corner. We got a lot of corners, which is big. Bring in wide receiver Kevin Hillman and Randy Reese. After that, we bring in some other guys, but just not sure how I feel right now. All right, we got to get a new defensive coordinator. Got to. Jake Zimmer runs multiple defenses. He's a Michigan pipeline. He's not currently the defensive coordinator anywhere. Seems like maybe he's a high school coordinator, but Wisconsin, Utah, and Sam Houston are all interested in him. There's Ben Orlando, runs a 4-2-5. Wisconsin is interested, so it's Florida and Texas A&M. We like that. Fourth Pettigrew runs a 4-2-5 from Ohio, but he's a defensive coordinator at Wake Forest. So he already has a job. We kind of like that, actually. We play Wake Forest. We know how good their defense is. The defensive coordinator at Nevada got a base 3-4. We went at 3-2-5. It's a little different, but Stanford and Utah are interested in him. I think I'm going to offer Gideon. That's the guy I'm going to offer first. He's a tactician. He's got a great talent tree. We don't have tactician right right now we do have motivator and recruiter so if we can get tactician that's huge did we bring in gideon we did not okay so let's see we got corin pettigrew again defensive coordinator wake forest runs a 425 pipeline ohio we have tobias earl runs a base 34 pipeline from alabama he's the defensive coordinator at jacksonville state and then we have matthew wooden runs a 425 pipeline nebraska he's a defensive coordinator at sam houston state and nevada's actually interested in him i think i'm gonna offer matthew wooden i like the 425 scheme just a little more we're gonna offer him a job also looking at his talent tree hammers recruiting being able to hammer recruiting i you know if it's not going to be tactician i'd rather have it just e load up on recruiter we bring in matthew wooden so we go and get the defensive coordinator from sam houston state we got a new staff We're hoping that this scheme can finally make us i don't even know back to bowl eligible i mean this is just so tough players leaving this might be ugly i mean not ugly but not great can we get any of these guys to come back marcus stacy decides to come back alonzo marshall you're probably gone yeah, honestly, that's probably the only one we're gonna get in Marcus, but yeah. So we do bring back Marcus Stacy, but yeah, that's tough. We didn't really bring in a big class either. This is tough. We're going after everybody, legitimately everybody. Going after cornerback Sean Schneck out of Texas State. Going after running back Tank Scroggins out of Kansas. Going after defensive tackle Coney Adebo out of University of Louisiana Monroe. Going after running back Marco Rawls out of Utah. Right end Ben McFerrin from Arkansas State. Fullback Dwayne Fala out of Air Force. Left outside linebacker Dylan McCants from Kansas. Juan Rubio running back from Texas Tech. Right tackle Darren Ferris out of number 21 Michigan. This is a guy we really want. We really, really, really want him. Jamie Carvalho, the right tackle out of Texas Tech. Center George Melvin out of number 25 East Carolina. Another guy we really, really, really 
you really want. Right guard Nick Siphon Whiskey out of Yukon. Right tackle Lee Cummins out of Kansas. Center Dennis Moy out of Pittsburgh. Right guard Montreal Proc out of Charlotte. And right guard Paul Lincoln out of USF. We're going after a ridiculously massive transfer class. We get fullback George Metz. We like to see that. We just need talent. Uh, fullback at this point. You can help us. Three star right tackle Darren Ferris. We get three star right guard Paul Lincoln. We get three star cornerback Sean Schneck. We get three star center George Melvin. We get three star running back Juan Rubio. We get three star right end Ben McFerron. We get three star right tackle Lee Cummins. Three star halfback Tank Scroggins. Let's take a look at national signing day. We have 10 coach points. Gonna put that on tactician. From high school, obviously, athlete George Newfield. Quarterbacks Ricky Newcomb and Martin Proctor. Transfer wise, Darren Ferris. Paul Lincoln. Back to high school, we're talking about Sean Booker. Transfer wise, Sean Schneck. George Melvin. Juan Rubio. Ben McFerron. Uh, Lee Cummins. Tank Scroggins. Dylan McCants. Kevin Himmelman, the receiver from, from the freshman class. Um, Dwayne followed the fullback transfer. And finally, Randy Reese, the right guard from high school. We had a decent class. Let's see where it lands. I imagine it's probably in the 50s, which is fine. Oh, it's 32. Okay, six four stars, 13 three stars, two two stars, one one star. Got to start winning games. That's the problem. We're not winning games, and I don't really understand why. But one athlete in George Newfeld. We're going to put him at tight end. I think he could be a huge vertical threat for us. He might be our tight end one. We jump up to an 88 overall. Our defense is a 90. Training results are okay. We still have Rashawn Derrick and Sergio Lieber. I wonder how we're going to do. Here, yeah, we're a good team. I just don't really know how we're going to do this year. I'm really nervous. Sergio Lieber and Rashawn Derrick, they're both seniors. They're gone. These are our two guys. Left guard, we got two juniors and Nolan Pagan, Trent DeMarco. We're going to be final left guard next year. Right guard, same thing. We have Rashawn Derrick, but Tito Riruda is going to be gone. But we have Quentin Alba, Nick Fiore, and Paul Lincoln are all juniors next year. We're going to be fine. Now that we've taken a look at the roster, let's do the recruiting board. Going after, with the way the season's have been going, we're actually only able to recruit really three stars so we're gonna go after a bunch of them wide receiver nigel briggs right end anthony stock athlete dante burris quarterback Jaden higgins the right outside linebacker leo gibbs we're going after an entire three-star class we just need to get guys in the building and right now we're having a lot of trouble doing that and i don't know what to do i don't know what to do we had such positive momentum and then all of a sudden we just lost it all it's, i just don't understand what to do next up let's take a look at our schedule we host san jose state oregon state western michigan FCS West. Then we go to Hawaii. We host number 22, Duke. UL Monroe. We go to UCF, North Carolina. We host UAB. We end the season at number 13, Notre Dame, and number 13, Rutgers. Okay. The Notre Dame game, Duke game, those are really the tough ones. San Jose State's not going to be easy. Oregon State, hoping that we can beat them. Same with Western Michigan. FCS West, we should beat them. Hawaii, hopefully we can beat them. Duke is going to be really tough. Hopefully we can take down UL Monroe. And UCF is not going to be easy. North Carolina, hopefully we can beat them. UAB, that's going to be tough. Notre Dame, that's going to be a bitch. And then Rutgers, hopefully we can beat them. We just got to play better. Even though it's week two, because of all the recruiting boosts we have, we're able, we're able to start doing visits and hard sells. We do get our first commit of this year with Anthony Stock, the right end, that's huge, and as we're only in the first week. We get two more commits in wide receiver Nigel Briggs and Dante Burris, the athlete. I just gotta keep hammering recruiting, boys. Craig Brisby is the independent defense player of the week. Five tackles, a forced fumble against Western Michigan. We do get Jaden Higgins, the quarterback. Huge get for us. I mean, I think that's the position we're weakest that we just need to develop quarterbacks. Cole Hicks, one sack, one TFL, two tackles, the independent defense player of the week. Let's take a look at this game. Also had the independent offense player of the week. Ty McCloy, 11 carries for 110 yards and three touchdowns. My goodness, he had a fantastic game. 35 to 10. Yeah, I mean, the forced fumble, two fumble recoveries. Played great. We just got to continue to do this. We do get Leo Gibbs, Tavares Keys, and Paul Morris. We're bringing in a huge recruiting class, which is awesome. Bring in Andre Duck, the quarterback. We love to see that. Hugh Bond commits to Iowa. He's gone. Matthew Session commits to Akron, so he's gone. As much as it pains me, Tremaine Johnson commits to Kansas. We got to take him off the board. We're going to add Duke free a punter. I think getting a, a good punter, we are going to lose ours this year. I think that'd be huge. As well as tight end Alan Nevis, we got to go after some good tight ends. We just need more skill position players. Bring in Brandon Mustard and JC Holly. Just got to keep recruiting, boys. I know mean, the season's not going the way we wanted to, but damn, we need to recruit well. Also, going to go after another tight end in three star Mike Childress. We are going to add Delvin Joe, the running back out of Bolingbrook, to our board. He's a gem. We got to get this guy. Greg Brisby, the independent defense player of the week, two tackles for loss and five tackles. Let's take a look at this game. We're going to add James. James Finger, that's a fun name, to the board. He's another right guard from Lexington. Got to get this guy. We're going to add Broderick Miles to our board. We need a good kicker. We're losing ours this year. If we can get him, that'd be huge for us. We're going to take Marquise Garns off the board. He commits to Miami of Ohio. And then Major Rowley blocks his house, so we're going to take him off. We're going to add defensive tackle Brendan Adai. We really don't have a good defensive tackle right now, so we really got to focus on this position. We're also going to go after right tackle Teron Boyman. 6'7", 316. He is going to be, uh, he could be a huge piece for us on the offensive line. Larry Bigsby commits to Notre Dame. We're going to take him off our board. We're going to add Jelani Willie to our board. He's a three-star middle linebacker. Six 
three, two twenty. He's a run stopper. I think that'd be huge for us. Holy shit, we beat Notre Dame. We got Scheme Guru. Not easy, boys. I'm I'm grinding through this right now for you. I think we gotta get rid of Matthew Wooden. I don't think the defensive scheme was the move. I'm at the point with Frank Thornton where he is so huge for our Scheme Guru stuff. So I just don't know how I feel about getting rid of him in general. He's a little forty-eight coach. Like that's tough to lose. We are gonna take Keenan Countess and cornerback uh, Enrique Hardy off the board. We're gonna add wide receiver Cole Volk. We're number five on his board uh we just found this guy he's a stud right so i mean if we can get him if we can get him to be huge also gonna go after four-star center rashawn barry i think this is a guy that could come in and contribute for us right away on the offensive line we bring in three-star tight end oscar awesome we need a new defensive coordinator looking at dylan ankrum he's a base 4-3 defensive scheme um, oklahoma is interested in, in him to be their defensive coordinator he does look like he coaches a local high school which is kind of concerning we also have Shane Gage, who's a 3-4 multiple pipeline in Southwest Texas. Looks like he coaches a local high school there. That's pretty cool. But the guy I think we're going to go with is Bernie Meeks. Runs a 4-3 defense at Pipeline, Wisconsin. And New Mexico is interested in him to be their head coach. We're going to offer him. Bring in Bernie Meeks. I think we'll be okay with him. He's a motivator. We loved his talent trade. I didn't really show it to you guys, but he's got a lot of XP stuff. Has some recruiting stuff as well. I think he's ready to make the jump to the next level, and I think we're going to be in a good spot with him. We do get three-star quarterback Edward Roby. We love to see that. Let's take a look at the players leaving this. Is gonna be huge oh we're losing a lot of guys we liked oh emmanuel robbins connor garrison eric lyles sean schneck those are really the four we don't want to lose especially connor garrison he's an 80 overall as a freshman and i know there's no chance but i just want to do it just to do it oh my god we're also losing rashawn Derek to the draft it's gonna be cool to see him get drafted but damn it's gonna suck to see him go bring in three-star wide receiver cole volk we'd like to see that three-star center rashawn barry we actually had two guys get drafted craig brisby awesome and rashawn Derek in the fourth round we'd love to see that taking a look at the transfer portal we're gonna go after a a couple of guys start off on the offensive line at Anton Corliss, the left tackle from Pittsburgh. We're also going after another left tackle, four star Jaquan Kiki from number six, Wisconsin. This is a guy we absolutely need. He's the number four player in the transfer portal. Also going to go after left end Terrell Helliams from UTSA. Going after another elite offensive lineman in DeMar Grubb, the right guard from Iowa. Gotta get him. Running back Gage Schwenke from Southern Miss. We'd like to get him. Fullback Mario Pettigrew, another guy from Iowa. If we can get these Big Ten backs and the Big Ten linemen, that would be huge. Also going to go after left guard Paul Reese from Southern Miss and right tackle Matthew Knowles from Arkansas. We're trying to get guys that can contribute right now. And a lot of these guys can. We get four-star right guard DeMar Grubb. That is a huge get. We're also going to add Jamie Carvalho to the board from SMU right tackle. Just want to get some more depth. We took some guys off. Heading into the final week of offseason recruiting. Let's see how we did. We get four-star left tackle Jaquan Kiki. We got the two guys on the transfer portal we wanted. The number four and the number five guy in the portal. That is huge. Let's take a look at National Signing Day. We brought in the two guys we wanted from the transfer portal. Jaquan Kiki, DeMar Grubb. Let's take a look at our top class see how where we finished we finished 37 we brought in two three two four stars 31 three stars and a two star we brought in a massive class i don't really understand like i don't understand how we're behind someone like south carolina like we brought in more three stars and just as many four stars it doesn't make any sense to me whatever go through position changes really quick we brought in four athletes let's start with dante burris we're gonna make him a fullback i know making someone a fullback is kind of weird but in this offense it's huge oscar awesome we're gonna make him a right outside linebacker he's gonna be an awesome stopper for us next up we're gonna make paul morris an edge rusher we need high level edge rushers and edward roby he is going to be a quarterback we just need more talent in the quarterback room right now so i'm gonna throw him in there let's take a look at the roster going into year what is this year nine yeah wow so our team is way better we have running back nate clay brooks he's a stud at left tackle we bring in jaquan kiki from wisconsin he's a monster we bring in right guard demar grubb from iowa he's another right guard absolute stud left outside linebacker marvin dossie he's a sophomore he's a 90 overall he's a monster and obviously nick fiore and paul lincoln running back we have Nate Claybrooks. Behind him, we actually have a litany of really good options. He's a junior, so there's a chance he comes back, but I'm anticipating he doesn't. We're going to be fine. Ben Goldstein, Juan Rubio, Ty McCloy, Gage Schwenke. I mean, we got, I mean, actually, I lied. Ben Goldstein, Juan Rubio, Ty McCloy, they're all going to be here for at least one or two more years. I mean, even this year, we have Gage Schwenke. We went and got in the transfer portal. We're going to be fine at running back. Left tackle, obviously, Jaquanki. He's a senior, but behind him, we have Sean Bickley. He's only a sophomore. We're going to be fine here. At left guard, gone is Sergio Lieber, but we're, we have a bunch of good people here. We have Nolan Pagan, Trent DeMarco, and then we have a freshman and Cliff Avery, who's going to be good for the next three, four years. So we're going to be okay here. Center, we have Dave Flavors, who's only a junior. I anticipate him leaving, but who knows? We also have Logan Godwin, the senior, George Melvin, the senior. We have a lot of seniors. So after this year, assuming Dave Flavors doesn't come back, we're going to be relying on Rashawn Berry. So we're probably going to look at to recruit this position pretty heavily. Right guard, we're loaded, but it's all seniors. DeMar Grubb, Nick Fiore, Paul Lincoln, uh, Quentin Alba. You know, gone is Rashawn Derrick, but he's got a whole host of replacements. We do have Randy Reese, the freshman. I think so we're going to be fine here, but we're going to lose a lot of talent. 
And then left outside linebacker, we do have Marvin Dossie, but he's only a sophomore. So even if he does, so I don't anticipate he might leave, but who knows? We do have Troy Kamara and Tedrick Pashal, the seniors. Uh, we do have Tavares Keys, a true freshman, probably gonna redshirt him, but we're probably gonna recruit this position just in case Marvin Dossie leaves. Next up, let's take a look at our recruiting board. We got a massive recruiting board. We're gonna rip through this. Marco Paredes, quarterback, Greg Canoy. Right off the linebacker, Armani Whitehart. That's an electric name. Cornerback, Dalton Hills. Quarterback, Javier Snade. Free safety, Oscar Beard. Right off the linebacker, Dylan Estep. Right end, Danny Parrish. Wide right receiver, Connor Durant. Middle linebacker, Justice Walker. Left end, Adrian Wiley. Left tackle, Elijah Everett. Cornerback, Keelan Phillip. Athlete, Cole McNabb. Right end, Matthew Jackson. Right guard, Stephen Moore. Defensive tackle, Shakir Douglas. Strong safety, Spencer Cook Vila. Defensive tackle, Paul Marciano. Right guard, Demarius Wood. Left tackle Dante Dunbar, left guard Juan Rivero, athlete Connor Nesbitt, left guard Grant Mooney, left end Nate Arnault, defensive tackle Shaquem Calvin, corner back Deontay Atwell, defensive tackle Matthew Shabel, strong safety Buck Smoker, Buck Smoker, all name team, such a cool name. Left outside linebackers Emmanuel Tavesi and George Veach, free safety Conrad Warner, two corners in Brian Montez and Enrique Cheridor. Host New Mexico Southern Miss Marshall, we go to Middle Tennessee State, host an FCS school, we host Central Michigan, we go to number 20 FAU, we then host Wake Forest, Bowling Green, go to San Diego State, Notre Dame, and then end the season against UAB. We have, I don't understand why our schedule just continues to have 13 straight games or 12 straight games, but we're just a couple weeks in, we have the guys we wanna go after, and at the end of the day, we're gonna start scheduling visits already. I mean, if we can get guys fast like we have been, we can get more guys, and at the end of the day, getting as many recruits as we can is huge. Against FCSC, Donnie Cummins, one sack, five tackles, two TFLs, the FPS Independence Player of the Week. Let's take a look at that. We are two and three, so a better start than we have. Uh, five, ta five tackles and a sack, 17 to six. The offense, just, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the offense or the defense, but we're just struggling right now. We're gonna take Cole McNabb off the board. He commits to Indiana. We're gonna add four-star athlete Melvin Atwell to our board. He would be the crown jewel of our class if we can get him. If we want a chance to salvage our season, we gotta take down FIU. Starting off on offense. Just get it out. Give me a couple. Clay Brooks, let's, oh my God. Wow, that was a took me forever to get that screen to get out of there. Holy Bruce Ribs, we're gonna substitute Alpha Mafia out. I mean, we don't really want to lose him, but great ball! Get out of there! Foot race! Oh my goodness! Let's go! It's a play action, dude. No way! If we can hold him to a field goal, that would be huge. No! Third and twelve. Great job, defense. Gotta get a stop here, defense. We need to move. We need to stop them from scoring. I'm moving Horn up. Seven man, and he is wide open. Gotta get the ball. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ooh! Great spin move. Go get it. 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 Tie game. Go! <laughs> Defense, we need a huge stop. I'm on off lean. I'm flying to my left. I see this guy. He's untouched. That's not my zone. There's no way that's me. Inside release. Inside release on a post route. Let's go! This is probably four down territory for the Owls. I'm going to sit back on Gilmore here. Great job by Defense! Fourth and ten. Do they take the punt? They do. They're going to punt this ball to us. Get out of bounds. Oh, I'm glad that's not a punt thought. Stay on your feet, Afi Mafa! A first down ends the game. They have the box pretty much jammed. Stay on your feet! Our offensive line is running people over! And the Prairie Ridge Wolves are gonna take down FAU. Wow, they, we needed this win. We get three-star Demarius Woods. We get three-star wide receiver Connor Durant. David J.P. Tanner goes up to a C. Elijah Everett, left tackle, we get him. We get three-star left and Adrian Wiley. Ben McFerron, two sacks, five tackles, a TFL. Week eight, independent defense player of the week. Let's take a look at this game. Seven tackles, two sacks, 34 to 31. Scored a lot of points in that game. That's been kind of the problem with this team is we haven't really been able to score. Seeming like we're playing okay now. We're gonna hop into this game against Bowling Green. Again, we haven't really played that many games. I haven't shown you guys much, but it's been tough, right? I wanna show progression. It has been a nightmare to progress. Gotta get a stop here on third and eight. Set the edge, great job by our defense. Dude, no way. I thought I led him with that ball. I guess it was a bad ball. Let's bring some pressure here. Great job, defense. Oh, I switched. I meant to send, like, if you press down on, on right bumper or right stick, offense, let's get something going here. 
What a ball! What a ball by Yaboa. Oh my goodness. They're in too high. I wonder if I can get Spear coming across the middle late. Dude, what am I doing? Like, actually, what the fuck am I... Dude, no. What am I doing? Like, I don't understand how I'm getting pressured and nobody's open. They have three first downs. They have 14 points. That's so fucking ridiculous, bro. I'm playing such a stupid-ass game. Lead them a field. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, my God. We are not fast. Stay on your feet. I think I have Hamilton. Middle. Yep. Got him. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Third and nine. We got to get something here. See if we can hit him with this play. I love this play. If it develops right. Inside. Dude, no, I'm trying to lead, lead him upfield. I understand what the route is, but like, I, I'm trying to lead him upfield there. We're gonna try to take our three here. So we cut the lead to four. I'm sitting on Gilmore, coming inside with this, with this corner. Huge sack by Ben McFerrin! First and 10. Can't call an audible out of this formation. That's sick, nasty. Give me the first. I don't know how the hell it's only 16 to 14, but field goal for them wins the game because I don't know how we managed to miss an extra point. But like our kicker is fine. Like, I don't understand. Dude. Our corners are just, just a little too slow. I'm on to real. I almost want to let him score. Yeah, they're going to try to kick the field goal. I'm on Kamara. Give me that! Oh, you bozo! And the Prairie Ridge Wolves sneak by Bowling Green. Oh my God, that was a brutal game. We're playing much better. Our team is better objectively, and we just gotta continue to keep playing well. We get three-star cornerback Keelan Phillip. Love to see that. Our championship contender moves to a B. Love to see that. And with the way we've been playing, we're actually gonna add Rudy Ferris, a four-star tight end to our board. We know it's late, but we have a chance to really go in and get him, and he would be huge for this program. We get three-star defensive tackle Shakir Douglas, three-star defensive tackle Paul Marciano, three-star right end Jimmy Rome, just continuing to add to our D-line. We get four-star center Melvin Atwell. That's a huge pickup, easily the best player in the class so far. And we lose, and we fall to six and six. We fall to six and six, and I don't think we're gonna make a bowl game, which kind of sucks, but we had a better season this year than we did last year. We got kicked, damn, we just got killed by UAB. We get four-star tight end Rudy Ferris. Getting him was huge. We are actually going bowling. We're taking on Liberty. Oh my God, a team that we beat earlier in the season. We're taking them out again. Oh my God. We get 20 coach points. I mean, I should probably use it to upgrade something, but I probably should just wait to spend it, but nah, fuck it. I'm only gonna get 10 more coach points. Do I want... What do I want? Short and medium accuracy? Yes. I'm going to get pretty much everything with tackle and play rec, which is fine. Take a look at early national signing day. We got the two guys we really wanted in Rudy Ferris and Melvin Atwell. That's huge. And I think we're just going to sim this bowl game against Liberty. I know we beat them, I think, what was it, 27 to 21 earlier in the season. We didn't play Liberty. It was FAU. We haven't played Liberty this year. I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Um, I actually didn't think we were going to get a bowl game, but we did. That's awesome. I'm going to let the CPU handle this. It's not going to change anything we've done. And we fall. We still haven't won a bowl game. We're like... 10 years into this, and I still have won a bowl game. Troy Kamar, independent defense for the week. Three tackles. I wonder if he had any other stats. Let's take a look. Four tackles, a force fumble, two fumble recoveries. Wow, we just, we got our offense. I don't know if it's our offense or what. We got to figure something out. Pro potential moves up to a B. Coach stability drops to a B minus. Coach prestige jumps up. Okay, so not a bad season from the Prairie Ridge Wolves. Let's take a look at the players leaving. This is huge. We're going to have to be leave. Ricky Newcomb, we really don't want him to leave. Please stay. He's gone. So we're going to lose Ricky Newcomb. That's actually a huge loss. And then we're going to lose a lot of seniors. And damn, bro, this is going to be a tough rebuild. All right, we're up to a two-star program, which is cool. Let's take a look at the transfer portal. We are going to go after some guys here, some huge guys. Marco Muse, the defensive tackle from number six, Tennessee. He would be a massive piece for this program. Next up, left outside linebacker Mitchell Hart from UConn. Right end, Keenan Jewell from Penn State. Just two more guys that we think they can come in and they can help this team on defense. Defensively, we played well, but I think we can just continue to improve and lean on our defense more. We unlocked master motivator. Here's the problem. We only have one more upgrade as a coach. And we're at level 50, so I literally can't even use that. We're also going to talk about some, we're also going to add George Wood, a right end from number six Tennessee to our board. We really want to go after these Tennessee boys. They're a great team. We get three-star right guard, Cade Nurasua. Four-star middle linebacker, Dexter Melvin. Four-star center, Gideon Okiki. We're also going to add Miles Debbie, the running back from Kansas to our board. We really need to get just as many talented backs and skill position guys as we can, so might as well add them to the board. Heading into the final week of offseason recruiting, we're going to add David Bloom, the right guard from Central Michigan to our board, as well as Monty Bynum, a free safety from North Texas. Trying to get more guys in the building that have experience and that 
have room to develop. And then we're also gonna add Quan Brightwell to our board, cornerback from Nebraska. As we saw last year in our games we played, we really need as much help in the cornerback department as we can get. All right, let's take a look at National Signing Day. I mean, how Dexter Melvin, the transfer, Gideon Okiki, the transfer, the guys we really were aiming for. We also got Keenan Jewell, Marco Muse, DeMarco Babino, Miles Devi, Monty Bynum, and then the two freshmen in Rudy Ferris and Melvin Atwell, two elite freshmen. We're really excited about this class. Let's take a look at where it ended. I can't imagine it's that high. I mean, we're a top 20, we're a top 30 class, four four stars, 27 three stars. We'd love to see that. And with the final 10 coach points we're gonna have, we're gonna put it here and we're gonna upgrade defensive linemen. We're not gonna really get to tackle and play rec, but we almost maxed out tactician, motivator, and recruiter. Love to see that. Taking a look at position changes, we did bring in one athlete in Melvin Atwell. We're going to put him at D-tackle. We really don't have high-level defensive tackles or D-linemen. We have some good edge rushers, but we really need help there. All right, training result. This could be huge. We are only in 85, but our team still has a lot of great talent on the team, right? We still have Nate Claybrooks. We still have Marvin Dossie. We still have Dave Flavors. Obviously, Randy Reese is a stud. And then Donnie Cummins. He's a guy. He's only a junior. He's gotten really good on that left-end spot. Again, we really just need to continue to get guys that develop, but we're looking okay. All right, let's take a look at the roster here. All right, like we talked about, Nate Claybrooks, stud. Came back for his senior year. He's the best player on the team by and away. Marvin Dossie, he's only a junior. I I'm anticipating him being gone after this season, but it's a chance he comes back. He's a stud. Dave Flavors came back for his senior season. He's an absolute monster. He's going to be the stud at center. In comes Donnie Cummins. We really haven't had a defensive stud on the line in a while. He's a monster. We're really excited to have him. He's only a junior, so there's a chance maybe he comes back, but we'll see. And then a right guard, gone is DeMar Grubb, gone is Paul Lincoln, gone is Nick Fiore. We do have Randy Reese, so he's only a sophomore. He could leave, we'll see, but we're going to anticipate, hopefully he stays. Nate Claybrooks is there, and he's a senior, but we're going to be fine. We have Ben Goldstein, we have Ty McCloy for next year. Obviously, John Ron Rubio is gone as well, but we have a freshman in Delvin Joe who's an absolute stud, and I think he's going to be the running back of the future, so we're going to be fine here. At left tackle, gone is Jaquan Kiki, but we have Sean Bickley. He's going to be here for at least another year after this season, so we're going to be fine. At center, we have Dave Flavors, but even behind him, we have a freshman for Sean Barry, so we're going to be fine at center for a long time. At right guard, thank God we have Randy Reese because DeMar Grubb, Paul Lincoln, Nick Fiore, all gone. Well, I don't really know how I feel about these two freshmen. We're going to redshirt a couple of them, but thank God we have Randy Reese. We do have Donnie Cummins, and he's a stud. He's probably going to be gone. If, even if he is, I feel comfortable with Paul Morris or Terrell Helliams there. We're going to be fine at left then. Left outside linebacker, we have Marvin Dossi. There's a chance he leaves. He probably will, but we have Tavares Keys. He's going to be a stud for us, so we're going to be okay here too. We're in 86 overall, 86 offense, 86 defense probably a little worse of a team but i think we'll be okay we had a great season last year and because of that we're gonna go after a lot of guys right tackle isaac crittenden but us at linebacker thomas fellows strong safety isaac zola tight end antoine perkins center austin brooks to help either replace dave flavors or develop underneath him middle linebacker antonio willingham left guard ty simonson and free safety craig wilkes after that we're gonna fill the class out with whoever else but that's what we're looking at right now done through recruiting let's take a look at the schedule we open the season with an fcs school then we take on to lane umass middle tennessee state we then go to wake forest in utah we host tulsa go to northwestern colorado and then end the season with west virginia texas tech and go to wyoming dude we are playing our schedule Schedule makers fucking hate us. 12 straight games, no buys, and I'm not changing the schedules. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna deal with it. But that's brutal. Taking off Ty Simonson and Craig Wilkes from the board, they locked us out. We didn't recruit them well enough, so we still were able to get Thomas Fellows. We're going after the other top guys on our board. This could be a huge year for this team. Donny Cummins, two sacks, three tackles, a TFL, independent defense player of the week against Middle Tennessee State. Let's take a look at this game. 40 to nothing, wow. And even though we beat Tulsa, Isaac Zolak commits to Ohio State, so we're gonna take him off our board. We were able to get four of the guys we wanted in Isaac Crittenden, Thomas Fellows, Antoine Perkins, and Austin Brooks. Now we're just gonna try to fill up the roster. Season is kind of falling apart, which is not a good look. I'm gonna have to make some changes. Ben McFerron, one sack, six tackles, two GFLs, independent defense play the week against West Virginia. Season is completely falling apart. We're gonna make some coaching changes. Lost by three. Oh my God. Six tackles and a sack. That's so brutal. Kevin Elfling, the senior, nine tackles, independent defense play the week against Wyoming. Oh, lost by eight, bro. Oh my God. We're gonna fire defensive coordinator Bernie Meeks. I don't, I wanna try to find a coordinator that fits more with our defensive scheme. Um, it is cool to know that our contract got extended, which is nice. Our first year was owned. To, so let's take a look at LA National Signing Day. We managed to get the four guys we really wanted it Isaac Crittenden, Thomas Fellows, Antoine Perkins, and Austin Brooks. Now going into next year, these are going to be four of our best players. And at the end of the day, I think they can help us make a push. We're going to get a new defensive coordinator this year. And I think this is the year everything gets put together. Let's take a look at the defensive coordinator. We got Carl Rabbits. Looks like he is a high school defensive coordinator in Oklahoma. 
Falcon runs a 3-3-5 scheme. Also got Landon Duarte. He runs a high school program in Ohio. Tucky, Central Michigan, and ULM are all interested in him. Chase Donahue runs a base 3-4. I think this is who I'm going to go after. I like the base 3-4 scheme. It offers just a slight difference in what we have. There's a lot of good schools interested in him, and that's got to mean something. So we're going to offer Jace Donahue. So we got Coach Jace Donahue. That's huge. We think he's going to be a great defensive coordinator, and he's going to be the guy that helped us team win a championship. Pro potential actually goes up to a B plus. Coach Stability drops to a C minus. Coach Prestige drops, but pro potential going up is huge. The only person that's leaving early is Donnie Cummins. He's projected to win the seventh round of the draft. I know we can't do it, but I just like to do it anyways. So that's going to suck. Donnie Cummins was an absolute stud for us. I kind of was on the fence of him coming back anyways. I figured he would leave, but it sucks to see him go. Also, obviously, Nate Claybrooks, our star running back. We projected to go in the third round. We'd love to see that. We actually had four guys get drafted. Nate Claybrooks went in the third round. Donnie Cummins in the fifth, as well as Kelvin Alflin. And Dave Flavors goes in the sixth. So, I mean, easily the most successful draft we've ever had. All right, let's take a look at the transfer portal. We're going to go after a litany of guys. First of all, we're going to start with James and Titus, right tackle from number 11, Kent State. This is the guy we need the most. We absolutely have to get James and Titus. He's going to be the number one guy on our board. Also, we're going to get George Wood out of Indiana, right end. Another right tackle in Cortez Raheem out of Troy. A quarterback in Antonio Chester from Maryland. A right tackle in Bradley Hicks from UCLA. A fullback in JoJo Oakman from Louisiana. A free safety in Ted Dilliard from Wyoming. A right guard in Tyron Reyna from Iowa. Middle linebacker in Devontae Plummer from Tulane, a team we beat this year. Trey Danucci, free safety from number six, Boise State. Finally, a free safety in Derek Flanders from Jacksonville State. So two guys, obviously Danucci and Titus, the two guys that we're really going to go after. We get right guard Tyron Reyna. We get right tackle Jameson Titus. That's huge. We're also going to add wide receiver Ben Whalen from Central Michigan. And right outside linebacker Greg Folkers from number six, Boise State. I think Folker, he became available to us late. If we can get him to be huge. We get right tackle Cortez Raheem. We get free safety Trey Danucci. That is the biggest pickup we needed. We get free safety Ted Dilliard. We get Antonio Chester, the quarterback. All right, after the final week of offseason recruiting, let's see who we got. Outside linebacker Greg Folkert. Running back Robert McNitt. Hunter John Ayambadeo. We bring in a huge transfer class, right? Cortez Brahim, Trey Danucci, Ted Dilliard, Tyron Reyna, Jamison Titus, Antonio Chester. And then we bring in some freshmen and Isaac Crittenden and Thomas Fellows, Antoine Perkins, Austin Brooks, and then another transfer in Greg Folkert. We brought in a huge class. We love to see this. We have the 36 ranked class, four four stars, 28 three stars. Golly. Right in three athletes, let's take a look at Robert McNitt. Probably going to use him as a fullback. He goes almost, almost 10 overalls, and we need as many good fullbacks as we can get. Pierre Paul, another athlete. We're going to put him at quarterback. We need, we just need people in the quarterback room, and he jumps up a lot with quarterback. And then finally, Randy Bickley, also going to put him at quarterback. We just want to put as many people in the quarterback room as possible. Let's take a look at the roster going into year, I think this is year 12. Um... Obviously, like we said, Marvin Dossey still here comes back for his senior season. Randy Reese comes back for his junior season. I expected him to go. He's probably going to be gone this year. Sean Bickley develops. He's a stud at left tackle. Middle linebacker, Dianupov, he has developed into a stud. Gone is Nate Claybrooks. We do have Ben Goldstein. We also have Ty McCloy, the senior. But they're going to be gone after this season. But we're going to be fine. Delvin Joe, JC Holly. These are two sophomores that are going to have developed. I feel comfortable with them playing right now, so we're going to be fine. Left tech, we do have Sean Bickley, but after that, we only have Farquaad Dallas. I don't really know how I feel about him, so we're probably going to have to look to upgrade this position in the offseason. At center, gone is Dave Flavors. We do have Rashawn Barry and then true freshman Austin Brooks. We're going to be fine here. A right guard, Randy Reese is junior. He probably leaves, but even if he does, I feel comfortable with the guys we have here. Tyron Reyna, Demarius Woods, these are two uh, underclassmen. They're going to develop into studs. Donnie Cummins went to the draft early, kind of left us in a little bit of a hole, but we do have Seam Detrell Helliums and sophomore Paul Moore, so we're going to be fine here. Left outside linebacker, we have Marvin Dossi. Even when he leaves, we have Tavares Key, so we're going to be fine here. In the middle linebacker, we have three studs, two more seniors in Dion Upoff. We have DeMarco Babineau. We also have Jelani Willie, so we're going to be fine. He's only a sophomore. I feel fine in middle linebacker. Let's take a look at the schedule this season. We open with Utah State. State, FCS Midwest, Central Michigan, Rutgers. We then host, then we go to Old Dominion, we host Memphis, go to Georgia State, host San Jose State, go to UTEP, end the season with number 16 Utah at number 10 Texas. We have a bye, finally, and then we go to Temple. First half of the schedule seems okay, and then it really gets tougher because we play a lot of road games, and then we play two ranked teams. Ted Dilliard, independent defense for the week, one pick, four tackles, one TD. We'd love to see that. Start off the season with a win. There we go. See this game, 18 to 7. Five tackles and a pick six. Against Memphis, Bernard Prescott, one sack, one TFL, seven tackles, independent defense player of the week. Love to see that. Let's take a look at that game. 15 to 13, seven tackles, a forced fumble and a sack. Beautiful game from Bernard. Marco Muse, two sacks, four tackles, independent defense player of the week against San Jose State. And we are the number 23 team in the country, nine and oh. We are playing great football right now. Two tackles and a pick six for Ted Dilliard in, in a win against UTEP. We got two games, three games left. We probably have to win out to make the playoffs. Utah is a tough team. We got to get this win. Marvin Dossie, two sacks, five tackles, independent defense player of the week against Utah and we win we're 21 in the country five tackles two sacks we take down Utah by three this game against Texas is huge I'm gonna hop into this one this game against Texas is a huge game second and five defense has to step up here there we go there we go great job defense all right held them three Texas scored again we're trying the cheese we're trying the cheese 
It's Texas. I don't care. This is like the 13th year of this fucking rebuild. We gotta win. Get out in front of me. 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 Give me the first down. I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit the flat. Oh my god. The flat was a touchdown. Okay, it doesn't matter. Great catch. Oh my god, our receivers are everywhere right now. I don't understand why this works, but I'll be honest, don't care. X is my read on that left side. Don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I've been doing this since Tuesday. This is like my fifth day doing this fucking rebuild. Let's go! Come on! Give me that! Give me that! Let's go! We're gonna take down Texas! What a win for the Wolves! Trey Nucci, independent defense for the week. Five tackles. He had a pick as well. We're the number 17 team in the country. I don't think we're actually gonna make it. That's actually fucking crazy. Let's like go to the top 25. That's crazy we're not gonna make it. Boise State's barely making it. We need all these teams that are like right here to lose. Pretty much need to get to like 11 to guarantee our spot. We jumped to number 11. Our championship contender moves up to an A. If we win this game against Temple, we fingers crossed make the playoffs. Please. Please. We move to number six. We made the playoffs! The coach of the year, shout out to me, took me 12 years. Jace Donahue wins the Broyles Award. That's the best defensive coordinator. And guess who that is? That's our defensive coordinator. Kansas, oh no, uh, bro, we're whooping their ass. I'm not losing to fucking Kansas State. This is a weird bracket. I'll be honest, this is, a, this is gonna be a hell of a playoff. This is the playoffs, boys. We're taking on the Wildcats. We gotta have this one, a home playoff game in Crystal Lake. Let's make shit happen. Let's launch this ball around. I think, I think we might have someone late. Oh, they're bringing a blitz, uh-oh. Gotta hit my checkdowns. Get up field, boys. Spin move! Let's go. Third and inches, let's hit him with a fullback dive so we can keep this ball on the ground and get a first down here. There we go, stay on your feet! Stay on your feet! I don't care, this is the playoffs, baby. God, there! We're bringing the cheese out, it's the playoffs. I'm on year 13 of this fucking rebuild. We're going forward on fourth down. Gonna put Goldstein out in the flat. They don't cover him. Excellent, just needed the first. Just needed the first. I wonder if Durant's gonna be open right away. Yep. Come back to it manually. Come back to it manually! Third and six. Kansas State got on the board. We need to stop here. Shit. I thought he was gonna hit the trailer. That was where I was supposed to be. Great. Okay, so we're gonna go to the half up one. Gotta get a stop here on third down. I'm on Upoff. Great job! Great defense! Dude, I'm in my three yard line. This is such a dangerous. Hold on to it, oh my goodness. We're gonna go back to the wide receiver mid screen. I think I can hit him, hit, hit him in again. This play works a lot for us. No, no! Get out of there, get out of there! Fourth and inches. Get out of there. Get out of there! Gold Steel, let's go! This is for a playoff game. Drilled it! Let's go! Dog, when I tell you, I am sprinting back. I'm just doing it now. Yeah, bro, I'm, I'm getting back. Let's go! We're going to the fucking quarterfinals! Let's take a look at the playoff bracket here. Uh, Georgia curb stomps Colorado State. We snuck by Kansas State, Florida State upsets Notre Dame, and then Colorado. We're playing good, George's playing good. Here we go, boys. We gotta take on the big bad Sooners. And you already know we're switching up the uniforms. We're going out with the blackouts. Black uniforms look so nice. Hold on to the ball, there we go. First play, nice first down. I haven't brought this play out. I don't think I brought it up this entire dynasty. We're bringing it out now. It's time for the cheese. Get out of there. 30 yards. They're only in three down linemen, so we should, if we can get a second level blocking. Stay on your feet! Our fullback is a man! Dante Burris, the bulldozer! Zipped it over the middle. There we go, first and goal. Got him. Let's go! If we, if I have time, I know my read. It's gonna depend on my offense. What the fuck was that? Cut a field, cut a field, get out of there. There we go, Kevin Himmelman! Gotta get some points on this drive. Excellent, first down. At the end of the day, I have to get this to work. Like, it has to work. Get there! I got it off! Let's go! We're down by two, we need to stop. 
Great job, defense! Let's go! We're at midfield. Get in there! Get there! Let's go! We got a safety! Let's go! I cannot believe I almost just threw that game. We just need points. Nothing risky. Everything's gotta be open. Give me the first! Give me the first! Let's go! One more play. He didn't get it off! Let's go! Down goes Oklahoma! Woohoo! Orange Bowl champion. Oh my god. Anthony Kendricks. That's not his right stat line, but he was the independent offense player of the week. We're playing Jacksonville State in the Sugar Bowl. Taking on Jacksonville State. We're going to bring out some uniforms. We've only won once. We're going to bring out the Grays. One win away from a championship. Here we go, boys. Look at us. Look at the Wolves. It's the playoffs, boys. I'm bringing out the cheese. We're bringing out the jet touch pass going to that wide side of the field. Here we go, Volk. Dude, like... What, what the fuck is that? What the actual fuck is that? No fucking way, bro. I, I just, like... How is our team so fucking slow? Get up field. That was... I cannot believe that worked. Spin move! Oh my god. Cheese. Get there! Get there! I don't know why they lined up in field goal block, but I don't give a shit anymore. Good pancake by the lineman! Let's go! Hey, flatten his ass! Nice job by the lineman to get back into that block. Nice! Get out of bounds! Oh, I don't need Kendra taking a hit. Hitting all these underneath routes, so I want to take the top off, but they're not giving it to me. Get there. Get there! Goldstein! Goldstein! Lead him upfield. Give me the first! Just need the first. Give me the block. Give me the block. Get out of the field. Get out of there, Volk. Get out of there, Volk. A field goal here puts us up nine. Taking our three. Drilled it. We go up nine. Downside kick. We're a first down away from winning the semifinal game. Oh my god, thank god. I almost chucked my fucking controller. We need one first down. Get up, Bill Kendricks! Ball game! And the Perry Ridge Wolves are going to the national championship! And we're gonna run the ball some more! Just because I'm gonna run in their fucking face! Get out of there. Get out of there, McCloyd. Get out of there, McCloyd. Get out of there, McCloyd! Get off me, little bitch! Get off me! Ball game! Holy fucking shit, dude. Marvin Dossi, four sacks, eight tackles. The national defense player of the week. We're also gonna have the offense player of the week. I wonder who it's gonna be. Anthony Kendricks, 219, three touchdowns. He was killer in that game. TCU, one more game. I was saving one uniform for this game. Gray, black, gray with the maroon pants. Here we go, boys. It all comes down to this. The Wolves, 15 years ago, they were a high school program. First and 10. Great catch, Nevis. Hold on to it. Nice job. Like, how is that not fucking pass interference? Nice job. Dude, we just have a bunch of slow ass players. All right, let's put this ball on the ground again. Yes, I can. Excellent run! Nice job, Burgess! All right, let's put this ball in the hands of Goldstein. He's been our power back all the game. Dude, like how? I don't understand where our line... God, dude. We're gonna get a field goal out of this, but fuck. Third and seven, we're gonna try the midline option again. God. We're gonna try the screen again. Dude, like, I don't understand. Defense, we need one more stop. Great job, defense. Fourth and 16, they're going to take their field goal. Great pitch by Kendricks. Oh, my God. Oh, what a gutsy pitch. I, I, I wanted to throw that ball, but I did not want to lob it like that. Holy shit. Dude, uh, I'm trying to punch this in on the ground. I don't want to throw it. Fuck this soup! God damn it! Stay on your feet! Kendrick, let's go! I'm on Danucci. Great job! I'm on Upoff. I'm on the spy. 
Dude, no! No! We just need three. Give me the first. Boys, I'm so sorry. I'm so ridiculously locked in right now. I'm not, I, there's no commentary right now. It's just ball! It's just ball! Come on! Give me a couple. That's all we want. We just want to keep going that way. I don't want to be a bitch, but this is the national championship game. I'm going to win this with no time left on the clock, and we're going to go home off a field goal. I don't even care. I don't even care. Maybe I'm a bitch. And the Prairie Ridge Wolves are national champions! Oh my god. Look at this screen. We finally did it. Oh my god. I don't even care that we didn't complete all our goals. We didn't complete like any of our goals. All we did was win a national championship. But that's the goal that matters. A plus pro potential. A plus coach stability. H plus coach prestige. I don't even care. Thank you guys so much for watching. Marvin Dossie, an absolute stud. Dynamite game from Dossie. A killer game from Kendricks. The Wolves are your 2035 national champions. Oh my goodness. I didn't complete all my goals, so drop your Instagram down below if you want to win a chance to win a jersey. Make sure to comment down below what team you want to see me rebuild next. YouTube thinks you're going to like this video. If you like this one, you're going to like this one.